Not bothering with the Andy Dick intro joke because there's more than a 75% chance he doesn't show up. Adam Carolla. Yeah, get it on. Got to get it on. No choice but get it. Mandate you get it on. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for telling a friend. We love that about you, man. And good day, Jody Miller. Good day to you, sir. And Bald Brian. Bring it. All right. Well, right before the mics got hot, we were talking about uh, mouth breathing. <laughs> and um, it could be a good pod, mouth breathing. Mouth breathing. Jody Miller and Adam Carolla. Feels good. And uh, we're talking about my job as a spotter. <laughs> And I was explaining you have to have your mouth closed when you spot because if your mouth is open, it conveys a message that maybe you don't want to convey. Well, I mean, it does. But as a fellow mouth breather, when you're concentrating, when you're doing things, you're not even aware that your Mm -hmm. mouth is a jar. That's 100% true. And, Mm -hmm. you know, no one can fault you for that. That's a it's a disability. You're you're breathing through your mouth. You can't breathe through your nose. You have to breathe, Adam. Well, I was thinking about it. You know, they have a lot of slack-jawed yokels and stuff like that. There's a lot of a lot of shade being thrown toward the mouth breathers. There really is. I got a lot of this growing up. What, 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 why were adults inherently cruel, so cruel for the years I was a child? You know what I mean? Wait, like, adults were cruel to you? Yeah, I mean, like, you know, football coaches, oh. teachers, you know, friends. Every, everybody, figures, everybody I yeah. knew who had a parent, they were mean. <laughs> You know what I mean? Like, why? You know, like I, I, I breathe through my mouth, so I had my mouth open a lot. There's a lot of you know, flies going to go in there. Yes, that do a yes. lot of that. Catching flies. Really? Yes, well, I made it to eleven. <laughs> so far, flyless. Fly free. That's good. Now there may be an influx of flies. There could be. You there could, could be. be a run on flies in my mouth. They could just be living in there, setting up a colony. You have no idea. Yeah. But I'm I'm pretty confident that I'm not going to swallow fly. But thanks for the advice. You're welcome. But I breathe through my mouth, and part of the problem there's a lot of problems. Yeah. One was playing sports in the San Fernando Valley, running wind sprints out in the middle of September. It's 103 degrees. They thought water was bad for you, so they wouldn't give you water. <laughs> You'll cramp up. Wait, right. it's not. It's it's good for you. I didn't hear this. It, uh, I'm going to be laying on my deathbed <laughs> and I'm going to be thinking about the, the trajectory of eggs. You know, well, yeah. one, one a week might not hurt, you know, and two, you need eggs. It's the best, the best piece of protein God <laughs> nature's ever conjured. It's all in an egg. Like I, I've the two I heard them both. Yep. I've heard uh, you drink water, you'll cramp up mm-hmm. till now you have to drink yes. your weight in ounces. Yeah. Oh you have to God. carry around one of those. Six uh, to four ounce minimum. Right. right. Like, okay, how can we have this much in a relatively modern era? But <laughs> they didn't give you water because <laughs> the real reason they didn't give you water is to toughen you up. It wasn't really because they had thoughts about hydration or cramps. Did well, it work? Well, Did well, you well, get well, tough? Well, yeah, that yeah is it, it, it's it 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 yeah. it at whatever whatever the, you know they do that thing where they go oh well with the heat index you know what I mean or the cold index you know well the wind chill yeah yes it's thirteen degrees outside but with the wind chill it's minus zero well that's where the pain index would be for no water <laughs> so you're you're running wind sprints and and, and they're devising weird torturous things for you to do such as <laughs> Brian I don't know if you ever did this one probably. I played bad football for a couple of years. The same experience with don't drink water. Can't drink there, water. There's the one where you clasp, your, you lay on your face mm-hmm. on the ground. Oh God! Then you take your hands. Really, the only thing keeping you and your face from the ground, oh. and you clasp them behind you. Mm-hmm. And the smaller your back, and you rock. Oh, back and forth. Right. Okay. I was like in field hockey, but we didn't yes. do that. Yeah. Right. Rockers. Mm-hmm. Yeah. If you had a cup Ooh. on, it would dig. You had a cup on, Ooh. so it would dig into That's your right. groin. But they'd lay you down on the turf and they'd just tell you to start rocking back and forth. Or things like, it's one thing to run 30 yards. It's another thing to crab for 30 Crawl. yards. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. With this crazy heads up thing all the time. Head up, head up, head up. And you're you're crabbing. So you're crabbing. You're not really the- crawling. Or maybe you're crawling. Your, your feet are on the ground. There was The balls of your feet are yeah. on the ground and right. your palms are on the ground right. and your head is up. And your mouth is open. And your mouth open, <laughs> which did not cheat the wind. And I'm crabbing yep. out in the sun. And then 
not only was I dehydrated, but my mouth was so dry, so dry. and shitty. I, I had that thing, and I wanted water so badly. I was like, no. And then they'd make fun of me for breathing through my mouth. Because <laughs> you're JV, you're either on the infield, the, the dirt infield, because you can't practice on the field fields, or the, 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 it's so torn up that you're breathing in dirt either way. Oh. Oh, yeah. The By, you know, the middle of the season, the middle of the field was just yeah. a dirt lot. You know, there was no... No manicured lawns out there. And I was just constantly sucking wind through my mouth. And then they would tell you, <laughs> put your mouthpiece in. Oh, so the way I breathed was through my mouth, but I had my, my mouthpiece in. It was a shit show, but you did something about it. I did. I just got the surgery for deviated septum for anyone who's got has had it. It is life-changing. And when I, when I mean life-changing, the second you get out of the procedure, even though you've got packing in your nose, you oh. can actually breathe through your nose. It's really? very, very strange, that instant. sensation. Because I had like a 97% blockage in my right nostril for years, so many years, which by the way, it was broken in college party from a beer can. And you're just like, whatever, I'll just really? live with it. Yeah, and then as you get older, See, you're like, I can't breathe. Like, you're supposed to crush on your forehead, <laughs> Jody, not on your nose. Well, I just didn't know. My thing is like, before I blow a dude, I'm like, put the beer down. <laughs> <laughs> Not my, there. I, I, I don't do I a mean, great job. And speaking I don't... of blowjobs with an open mouth, oh I was a my, mouth breather. Oh my god, <sighs> it's a lot. Oh, it's right. a lot. You know, you know what I'm talking. I do. About. <laughs> I think I would appreciate that, though. Well, as a fellow mouth breather, you would, right? No, as a recipient of your oral. Oh, I'd be with like, the mouth too open. much to handle. That's a lot. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> it's like, I got to come up for air. If it was a... That's a lot. Oh, my God. I'm suffering. Yes, that's exact. I'm sure a lot of Gasping. men were concerned about my safety. So a lot. <laughs> The and thing about it, some guys get their way in breast enlargement. <laughs> the guys who do the now, oftentimes when a woman gets her deviated septum taken care of, mm -hmm. it's an excuse for a nose job. And you know what? My insurance almost didn't cover it because of that. Mm -hmm. And I mm -hmm. might be the only Jewish girl in the world that doesn't want a nose job. I do not. I want my. So I was actually concerned that they would. They did not only. Did I have no bruising or any, I ha barely had any swelling? I can tell you this, and they didn't tell me this, which I wish they had. Day one, you're like, okay, this is, you know, you're, you got the pain pills, yay. And you're just so, sort of sitting there and just mm -hmm. letting people take care of you, but you're actually okay. Day two is the most torturous day of your life because the packing in your nose starts filling up with blood. Ew. And mm. I, when I say, I, like, I couldn't, you couldn't even, like, my head was spinning, I couldn't sleep. It was horrible. Do you have to replace it? No, the next day. It's like oh. the next day he goes in there and he's like, get ready because all of that's about to be over. And I'm, and I'm like, what? You're, I, like, I thought he was going to kill me. I was, I was like, put me out of my misery. He went up my nostril and pulled a straw. First, he pulled a straw out of each side about this long, like honestly, from the tip of the nose to, I'd say, above my eyebrows. It goes all the way up. Where well, sinuses it out. are up here. Yep. So probably. He pulls them out. And then he pulls packing that is I can't even I can't even describe the width it like of that Please don't. I, I, it's gross, and then he takes the suction and just pulls everything out and then just like that, it's all all the pain's gone the pressure's gone and you're mm. like, oh my god I'm I'm breathing I could close my mouth now side note I still breathe through my mouth because it's a habit and it's fun keep it real. <laughs> Did you get the dry mouth at night? Yeah. I used to. I don't anymore. I don't have to wake up in the middle of the night and drink water anymore. Yeah, that's what I have to do. I, I used to, I mean, like all the time. During the summer, you're running Never. the air conditioning or yep. the ceiling fan, and then you got to wake up. I don't have to take mouth. allergy medicine. I was on a decongestant every single day for 12 years. Really? Yeah. Which can't be good for can't you. Can't be good, I was going to say. <laughs> what, uh, it explains a lot. What, first off, <laughs> is there a- investigated by ATF. <laughs> is Listen, there a maxi pad <laughs> version of the packing? I'll you know tell what you, I mean? It, I think it was a maxi pad. It was so large, and I was like, I've never seen anything like that. I've never bled like that out of any part of my body. <laughs> I was now, like, what were, is that? Was there a dereliction of duty amongst your parents- or what do you like? Well, you have a you have a child. They have a yes. deviated septum. Right. Well, I didn't have it when I was a child. Oh, I got right. it later in life, freshman situation. in college. Oh, oh, because of the beer can incident. Yeah, because I was at a That's party right. and Sorry. I was in the wrong place at the wrong time, and then yeah. Wow, I know. So it happened later. All right, it happened. So I mean, my dad though, my dad is a mouth breather and a snorer. So mm. I definitely, I dumb all the guy, was all, huh? yeah, he's so Pretty stupid. Spotted. He's mm. really dumb. Could Sorry, never Dad. Be a I mean, actually, I'm a, he could never be a spotter. Because <laughs> mouth open, bad snoring, the worst. The worst, as a right? As a spot, you're just <laughs> <laughs> if you're asleep, standing up and snoring. There's a problem. Yeah, yeah you're also <laughs> you have the chick at the top of the pyramid, an eating disorder. 
I actually fall asleep staring at her ass. You can't wheel around that CPAP machine. <laughs> that's right. My God, that's a whole different team. I'd love to see that team perform. The guy who stands up sleeping, snoring, the woman in the top with an eating disorder whose limbs just... I mean, all of that just sounds like a great show. So you live with this for <laughs> a, a, you know 30 years, yeah. and then... All of a sudden, you did something about it. I did something about it. I'm inspired. It. You should do it. And I honestly, because I did it, two of my other friends also did it. And my doctor is a genius. And when I say, I mean, I'm not going to lie, for about a month and a half after, things come out of your nose, Adam. Mm. You, I, I, you, It's like alien. I, I mean, large things come out of your nose oh, that are like... total recalls about better. Yes. Oh, it's like total recall. Yeah, like things that are the length of your index finger or pointer mm. finger. Like it literally, it's... And they come right out... And you're like, how is that in my nose? And it's disgusting. And you mm. expect it to move, and you stare at it. I did. Mm. All right, I got to <laughs> give me the doctor off the air. I, I got to get this. I've been living you've, with this so for you've too been, long. You haven't. You've never got. Yeah. See. Well, this is out of New Year's resolution. Is is to take care of himself. That's and right. the Things that need taking care. Honestly, of. Honestly, it mm -hmm. will change your life. No longer. I mean, I can't believe the water thing. I didn't even put together. I didn't put together that I was waking up so much throughout the night. And everybody, by the way, in the hospital kept saying, do you have sleep apnea? And I was like, no. And they go, are you sure? And I'm like, no. And they're like, do you wake up several times through the night? Did I go, yeah, but just to take a sip of water. And they're like, you probably have like sleep apnea. If you're waking up a little bit, I think that's all this. I had little, it's funny, whenever I'd watch a show where like one of, Charlie's Angels would be abducted or something. They put the duct tape over their mouth. Yes. I would have minor panic yeah. attacks. Oh, like if oh somebody, yes. You will if someone you. ever abducts yes. me and puts duct tape over my mouth, I'm I'm choking out. Did you guys wear nose guards when you were swimming when you were little? Do you remember nose guards? The that pincher? Like, yeah, the pincher. No. And it had this like, strap around your head. No. <laughs> Thankfully, um, that had gone away by the time no. I started to swim. <laughs> but I remember just like, I remember having to wear those and like earplugs. It was all a mess. My, my face has been a mess for a while. What <laughs> is dorkier? What? Okay. I'll give you guys three. Okay. <clears throat> the nose guard, the thing that squishes your nostril shut right. before you jump in the pool. Right. The uh, Band-Aid around the glasses. Oh. Or the headset that you wear Attached to the braces to school. What 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 says dork more? Thankfully, out of those three? The, the headset has gone away because that is far and away number one in my opinion. Give them a power ranking. Okay, I'm gonna actually, and then I'm gonna explain why. I'm going with the glasses because the headset. There's not a lot you can do about it. It's your teeth. If you are your glasses are broken. Enough with the tape. Fix, Get, that shit. fix that shit. What are you doing? You know that yeah, you made that choice. Long, yeah. You made that choice to put tape. On your glasses. To leave the house that day. Your parents made that choice to put you in a headset. Mm. Mm. Well, <laughs> as I understood it, not that orthodontia was a big thing at the Corolla house. It wasn't. It would cost money, it would have been effort, many, many things we didn't participate in. But as I was told by some friends who did have the headset, uh -huh. you could wear them, you had to wear them like 12 hours a day. Right. So you could wear them at night. So you could skip school, the school experience altogether. Right. right. I always wondered why you wore them to school well, when you could. I would imagine sleeping. If you say, don't sleep yeah. on your back, you're screwed. Okay. Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah and if yeah, you're yeah, a yeah, mouth yeah, breather. Right. Well, I guess you have to be a mouth breather with that thing mm -hmm. in your face. Yeah. I mean, yeah, Although, I mean, you can't sleep like now, that. Now, the nose pinch speaks to the greatest fragility, right? Like, I can't get water in my nose or else I'm ruined. It also kind of <laughs> says, I'm here not to party. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like, I want to swim because I don't have any of the experiences of swimming. All right, what's yeah. worse for a spotter? Okay. Nose pinch, same <laughs> ones. <laughs> Headset. What don't you want in a spot? I feel like the nose pinch sending a no, weird miss. That's no, a yeah, weird that's message. Right. You don't want the You're, mouth guard. If you fall on that, that's going no. straight know, up her ass. Nose the nose pinch guard says, says that they suggest. stinky. You're on the business end of the pyramid. Yeah, you're right. You know what I mean? You don't stand in front in front of the audience. You're on the backside. You just see all of the spotters with the nose <laughs> pinch. There's nothing to do with you. <laughs> you're like, what's going on with that team? And, and the Band-Aid on the bridge of the glasses, too, doesn't inspire confidence by anyone no. out there. <laughs> 14 it's feet above the ground. You clumsy fuck. fuck. It also suggests there was an incident. Yeah. You're right, there was. A, but the mouth guard, you're right, just says you want straight teeth one day, and that's fine. You can still be a spotter with that. All right, we alluded to this <laughs> last time, but we never did pull up the uh, Hey Mickey, Josie uh, Cotton. Tony Basil. Tony Basil. Tony Basil, sorry. Josie Cotton was 
Are You Queer? Johnny, Are You oh, Queer? Okay. Okay. I think. Same oh, era, same kind of vibe. Um, she had a cheerleading team. I don't know if you guys remember that. She did. She I was a professional well. cheerleader. Well, that was an iconic video. Right. She had an iconic video, which looked to me, there's a high school around Silver Lake called Marshall. Okay. And they're like light blue and dark blue or something. And they look like they were wearing, it would make sense. It was Silver Lake or whatever. Okay. Right. Now, hold on a second, <clears throat> Max Pata. This is going to be a deep dive. But, uh, Chris? Yeah. They had, there was an actor, and he was a kind of a poor man, John Belushi. Okay. And he was Jim Belushi. The, <laughs> he was in those <laughs> '80s movies. Too soon. He was in those '80s high school nudie titty movies mm-hmm. as the big the guy. He was the guy who'd have to dress and drag, and right. so he could get into the all girls right. dorm, mm-hmm. and he'd be like, "Hey, fresh!" And it's like huge calves, <laughs> and big eyebrow, and like. You know, and the girls completely accepted the, it. No like, one, oh, she's, he's, she's just unfortunate. Not only that, but the, but whoever was running the dorm, like, who is this fetching young gal? You know, like there was, oh, yeah. the, there was always the one person that was attracted yeah. to oh, him. Yeah. the hottest. And then yeah, and Fred then, Flintstone and would said, go and drag yeah. and. The boss at the party would be attracted to her. Like that's it's it's so insane. We're talking about the cusp of seventies, eighties tropes. This was done with Al Pacino and Jack and Jill in like twenty thirteen. Oh, that's oh, right. God, that's right. That's right. <laughs> well, well Tootsie as well. Tootsie. I mean, there's always I know, but someone. Again, nineteen eighty. Yeah. Yes, we're talking true. about it out of <laughs> you're me. right. You're right. <laughs> this guy was in a Phoebe Cates movie. Oh, I know them. Which one? It was like it would. They just had. Early '80s titties movie. Yeah, it's like that, private. That's what school. they were. Yeah, it was like private school, mm-hmm. I think, and it had VBKs. Yes. Yep. And this guy looked like one of the cheerleaders from the Tony Basil vid. You're not thinking of Chubbs from Teen Wolf, are you? Is that a little after? I'm not sure. Okay, but we'll we'll look at the vid. Uh. We'll find this guy. You can find him, Chris. I think we found him before. I don't know if he's really employable now in the business. <laughs> So there's, I love the video. Oh, it's I great. love this. So I love great. everything. Oh, that guy right there in the middle. There's, I think that there's the guy, the guy in the middle. I mean, the gal in the middle. That's a girl. I wonder oh, if no, that was. Guy. I wonder if that was Marshall. <laughs> there's, there's a heavier. That's her. Larger, yes, slightly more masculine yes. cheerleader in this. It always reminded me of that guy from uh, private school. By the way, I miss this kind of music, right? Me too. It's super fun. It's like fun. It's... I have not seen this video. It's a jaunty number. Oh, yeah. It, it's a. It's a definitely a workout. This would be on my workout playlist. She was cute too, Tony. She Bell. was. She was hot. Yeah. All right. Anyway, uh, we'll figure out who this. God, I miss 80s This makeup. guy was. 80s makeup, oh, 80s music. 80s hair. My yeah. hair was so big. You guys have... What I was... Even... Did you have big hair? Oh, yeah. I called it the yo. It went <laughs> up and around. It went up and all the way around. I mean, I, it is so big because I have naturally curly hair. It just got bigger and bigger, and I'm mm-hmm. from Jersey. So oh, <laughs> weaponized. You're married in. I mean, it just... I came out of my mom just with big hair. Yeah, it was just frizzy. like... Oh. I mean, I was just back east last week. The second I got off the plane, my hair was like, fuck yeah, we're back. <laughs> and it's just like, just poofs like right up. Oh, oh man, Jersey. God, so good. Like we, There was big hair out here, but it was sort of tamped down a little bit no. by being in California. But I Jersey. It. It's crimped. Can, can, uh, no crimping for this of girl. Course, I just here. Aquanet all <laughs> the way. Just spray it up. Don't. How do you get the height? Do you, do you tease it out? What is the Thankfully, technique? Thankfully, because I've got the natural curl, it wasn't that hard. I could just do this with my fingers like this. No nice. one can, People that are listening, I'm just I'm, finger comb. I'm finger, finger combing, pick. yes. Uh, I'm jerking off my hair. That's <laughs> what I'm I, doing right can now. I float a theory <laughs> yes. that you should take in the spirit in which it's intended, but Oh, I have a picture. I've been too. on a lot of sets, and the ditziest chick on the set is always the hair girl. Always. And my theory is that they've sucked up too much Aquanet. Probably. They're not in a well ventilated room. They're in a windowless little room. Yeah. They're spraying on copious amounts of that stuff. And by the way, you don't think that stuff's tough stuff? Put it, a cigarette lighter oh under God, you one can't. of them and watch the four, four foot flame go flying out. I think years 
If in hand, they never wear a mask. They don't pull the shirt right. up over their mask. My dad just sent this yesterday. Wow, we're looking at you with the big hair. I mean, that's in college, so it was a little toned down, but it it was it's out of the picture. You can't even. It's actually over here. Moments later, a beer can. You got, you got, nose. got a little. Yeah. Uh, it was a little Joe from Facts of Life. A little bit. I mean, nice. She's a good. Yeah, we liked her because she was a tomboy. <clears throat> yeah. And you know what I mean. Blair was just too Blair. I am. Uh, <laughs> I'm always proud of the fact that my hair has not changed since and the tenth grade. You have curly hair. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's hundred percent true. What, All right. Were you bald did, in I started losing grade? my hair in middle school. Oh. Did you? Um, <laughs> did anyone? I mean, were there any deeply religious people in your life that thought you had a problem with masturbation? <laughs> Or, or like brought like I was wow. a '70s bedwetter, and wow. my mom's stupid crew thought I was acting out, or this is the way I was displaying oh. this. You know, was a thing. I was a bedwetter. You know, that's all there was. It right. wasn't no. a message being sent, or had to deal with <laughs> therapy, or whatever it was. But did you have anyone that thought like you you can't stand that close to the microwave when you're making hot pockets, Brian? Dude, you've just uncovered a memory oh, good. about mean grandma. <laughs> good, because I love by it. 1990. That it kind of this is when it all started. That it kind of faded away. No one really believed that anymore. However, I was I love little league. I was I was a decent little league player, so I love baseball. I was always wearing a baseball cap. Mm -hmm. And my mean grandma one day, knowing that like my parents probably were like Brian's hair sort of fall mm -hmm. out, she said, Brian, stop wearing that hat to make your hair fall out. Uh, so that, that superstition with the hat. I mean, grand, my have a mean grandma. We do Adam delights in stories. We have about dueling her. mean grandma. I'm <laughs> an equally mean grandmother. And what did your grandma say to you? Um, she said many, many things. Some, <laughs> sometimes they were just uncomfortable things. She liked to make people uncomfortable. So she would say uncomfortable things to me that I, I, I'll never forget. And she would also say things that were, uh, I, I don't know if it would be quite, you could typify it as an attack, but it was, you know, attack light, you know, <laughs> stuff. Such a fired. Wasn't a wasn't a fan. Grandmas are supposed to be so nice. Indeed, they are. No, <laughs> and then it, it got worse when I became a celebrity because then she looked at it as her job and her job only to keep me grounded. Mm -hmm. That was her plan. It was like somebody's got to keep this guy <laughs> grounded. It's not like I went all MC Hammer on anybody. I was just you went I crazy. Was Gold Gates still just walking around doing my thing, you oh know. But she, she, and she would tell me out loud. Well, you know, it is my job, and I would go. I don't. I don't feel like I've looked up the description of the duties of a grandmother. Right. I got baking cookies up there. <laughs> I got putting salve on a wound. Yes. I got uh, adopting a cat. I don't have verbally abusing grandson to not make him enjoy his newfound success. <laughs> that, 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 I, maybe it's on the back of the list. I only got to maybe. the top 20. Overall, buddy, that's your yeah, on, on you. the back. I only read the top 25, but that was not on there. No, you said something which I think is interesting about the masturbating too much, which the only thing I always heard was that you'd go blind and you both wore glasses. So oh. I'm just mm. saying that I have perfect eyes site but um no but it's only towards men by the way and still to this day it's all about young boys masturbating all the time in the dark room like you never like tell a girl like don't masturbate you'll you know well i think there's, <laughs> there's a practical reason for that tell me <laughs> it's the reason it's easier to own a cat than a dog i know this is straying <laughs> into your territory go on well i've never thought about it but ever the good thing about owning a cat, they go out in the yard, dig a hole, take a dump, bury it, and come back in. Mm -hmm. No one's the wiser. Right. Take the dog on a walk. You got to bring, you know, you got to bring bag. a double bagger, you know, in case there's two, two shots out there. The yard starts to pile up. Blah blah blah. So women masturbating—that's a smokeless cigarette. Right. You know, there's there's no residual anything. Dudes, True. right? Okay. There's a hamper issue. Right. There's collateral damage. Right. There's sheets. There's comforters. Socks. There's stepmom has got to take the tube Stop sock, <laughs> lay it in front of the hamper, and drop an elbow on it oh to get it to gosh. snap and get, fold and get it down into the hamper. I mean, there's a practical thing. 
There, you're right. There Their is. Their seed is spilled. Having said that, though, there is still that uncomfortable level. Like when a boy gets to a certain age, you all of a sudden register, I should make noise before getting close to their room. You know oh, what I mean? Yeah. I'm oh, coming. Sure. But by the way, girls, little girls, because I was a nanny a long time ago, and they love to rub up against everything. Mm. And so it's not like, I remember being with the girl that I was nannying with in this toy store, and out loud she screamed, I have a vagina, which little girls love to announce. Mm -hmm. And then and right after that, she goes, I like to play with my vagina. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Of course, five, I was like, so do I. My but you don't. <laughs> casually rubs her vagina. Just watching TV. Just Ca yes. Like, uh... I, this is why I, I marvel. <laughs> I, this is why I, I freak out about pedophiles. Yeah. I couldn't imagine. That's why? Yeah. That's why. <laughs> well, it's, one of, it's top three. <laughs> it's like, could you imagine? Could you imagine? molesting your daughter and just having this five-year-old like running around the house all day like every time she went like i have something to say you yell, don't believe her oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> it's like, she's a board liar and if she, she's a board. <laughs> yeah i mean i mean there's also psychological damage of obviously, course obviously the children but, are future but right. i'm just saying it's, <laughs> but uh, blah 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 yes <laughs> I mean, there's a lot of guys who don't like leaving their cell phone around just because someone will walk up and take a little look yep. at the browser on there or texting uh, or whatever. This is a cell phone with no password that's always in the house and <laughs> you're, when you're out of town. When you're out, it just keeps going. Yeah. Oh, Lord. We uh, There's a news reporter story. I don't know if you guys saw the one that got hit by a car. Oh, no. Did you guys see that? No. I think so. Oh, it's, oh wait, it's, wait. it's making the rounds. Is it a woman? Yes. Yeah, I think I saw. I didn't. Yeah, I, I saw it. I am in love with this woman. The one who got hit by a car. Yes. She kept broadcasting. Or yes. Was that the, oh, that's the, that's well, the that's yeah. yes, professionalism. She's doing she, a live hit. Is there a video? Do we oh, we have a we have a vid of it. Oh, she look at, looks to be. I don't know. She's 25. 25 is about to say. Oh, she can bounce back. This That's why she's 25. <laughs> yeah, this is in West Virginia. Her name's Tori Yerke. She's reporting at the scene of a water main break. Dunbar. Mm -hmm. Dunbar, yeah. Dunbar. And, and uh, yeah, sorry, go ahead. Starting to experience, unfortunately, in freeze thaw, we see this, water main breaks. Oh, oh, oh Jesus. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I got hit by a car, but I'm okay. I just got hit by a car, but I'm well, okay, Tim. That's the first um, I'm okay. TV, Tori. He is not he reacting is appropriately. No reaction. I'm okay. Yeah, you know, that's live TV for you. It's all good. I <laughs> actually her. got hit by a car in <laughs> that's college. That's a gamer. Just like that. Wow. I am so glad I'm okay. Yeah. You're okay. This girl You're plays okay. sports. We're all that's good. That's the first thing she I yelled at Chris. Or something. I yelled at Chris to oh. find out you this history. She played it's, something. Uh, one you sure woman you're okay, We're good, Tim. Ma'am, you are so sweet and you are okay. It is all good. You know, I... <laughs> It's all good. Oh, Lord. Revelation so coming you, here. Well, you got her on the job, baby. Cash out check. I think this would happen. So you were bumped in. To me, Tim. Were you bumped down low, Tori, or were you hit up high? I couldn't really tell from the looking. Oh. Who is this uh, yes. I don't even. Do you know if I was bumped down low or up high, sir? I just saw you disappear. I don't even know. I don't even know, Tim. I, my whole life just flashed before my eyes. <laughs> but this oh is live TV and everything's okay. Oh I, I thought I was in a safe spot, but clearly um, we might need to move the camera over a bit. Yeah. So you do that. Oh, you're in no it. producer. Now, just heard a camera. Oh, you know? Once again, Tori's in an area right now. There would have been a water main break. So there are emergency vehicles around there. And a lot of times what we have seen in those kind of situations. <laughs> yeah. Situations are in when emergency vehicles are around. Get that there's a lot of confusion producer. from people about drivers about where to go. So Get her a possible traffic cone. Yeah. 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 Sorry, you didn't even oh see the God, that woman. That that she's got to go on and talk about. Keep it man. going. No, no, it's good. I don't know if we have any more. Uh, we don't no, have no, any yeah, more. Uh, that's I, just the I mean, that on. guy Find in the, the studio. He's just like he didn't react appropriately. He, he what color was the car, Tori? Do you know? Like it he was like asking her, "Looked like was it that went that out a, of frame there. Was that a 2017? Because it looked a little bit like a 2018. I uh, know. <laughs> he was so like. Do you know where it hit you? But or? you know what? <laughs> you know, he, Sully Sullenberger had a lot in that in, in him too. You yes, know, that's maybe you want that steady oh, hand. The way he, you yes. want the steady hand on the yoke. You yes. know, I mean, like oh my god, a burden. I was all this shit. We're all gonna die. And he went that. Experience the engine failure. Miracle of the Appalachians. Uh, yeah. Tori's a celebrity now. You got to get her on the show. I well, what what was missing from that clip, which is she then goes sort of like you in the beer store. She goes, "It's okay. I was hit in high school." No, <laughs> oh, we, we, you guys talked over that. Yeah, oh, I was wondering happen. where that was. Oh, oh play that part. Yeah, she was hit in college. 
It's right so, after she got hit. So, <clears throat> so this is a thing for her, <laughs> evidently. <laughs> Got hit by a car, but I'm okay. I just got hit by a car, but I'm well, okay, Tim. That's the first um, one okay. on TV, Woo! We're all good. Okay? I'm okay. Yeah, you know, that's live TV for you. It's all good. I actually got hit by a car in college, too, just like that. Wow. I am so glad I'm all okay. All right. Yeah. Now, okay. <laughs> she, if she gets hit for a third time, oh, that's I'm it. not going to blame the driver no, at this point. No, this is clearly She's her doing fault. Something. Yeah. Well, that's <laughs> a common factor. <laughs> well, these are the people like... I've what? been struck by lightning twice. Once, it's like, yeah. what'd you do to offend God? Once, shame on you. Right. One, twice, shame on me. Like, what did she- <laughs> I yelled at Chris as soon as I saw this. I was like, she she played sports. Something. Oh, ROTC, totally. Something. Totally. Something. So, something. Did a tough mutter yes. last week. Like, Oh, she has um, not much on her. Mm-hmm. Um, she she's from Philly. She's an Eagles fan. Mm-hmm. Uh, and but uh, we 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 looked through her social media and like some earlier videos. She just seems like a klutz. Here's a video. Here's a video of her. Uh, Here's just, one of her in her living room getting run over. Oh my God. <laughs> She's watching it's, TV. Li- it's live TV. Yeah. Yeah. Here's, here's, here's one of, here's one of her this. in the top of the Empire State Building <laughs> getting hit by Subaru. <laughs> yeah, so this is her um, tripping on a curb and, and getting a bug, uh, f- uh, a bug flying in her mouth. Mouth breather. So uh-huh. I just met my cousins that I never. A bug just flew into my eye. Her eye, sorry. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> bug flew in her face. And then, um, and there's another one that she posted where she did a whole uh, video thing while uh, a bird shit on her shoulder. Accident and she, prone. And she did, didn't know that the the bird shit. It did, did someone have an, like a hex on her? Did someone? Yeah. <laughs> she cursed? It seems like a Liz Lemon type. Just uh, yeah. I'm in love with this woman. I that's, love this attitude. It's a nasty sun, but uh, sunburn, though. I'm still going with, yeah, like background lacrosse, soccer. Yeah. Looks oh, like she, she likes hiking yeah. a lot. Her Instagram has, has her hiking. She crashed in into nature. people. Yeah, I, I'm I'm with you on no lacrosse. It just feels very lacrosse <laughs> All right. Uh, we're going to have Jason Miller. Are we bringing him up? Yeah, well, after the break. Yeah. All right. Take a quick break. We'll come back with the uh, getter, CEO, Jason Miller, right after this. It's time to check Adam's voicemail. Hey, it's Carter from Georgia. Just saw a dude riding a Harley with a cigarette hanging out of his mouth. Good to know those guys are still around. Get it on. You can leave us a message at 888-634-1744. All right, we have Getter. That's G-E-T-T-R-C-E-O. And former chief spokesman for Donald Trump, the 2016 presidential campaign, and the advisor as well in 2020 re-election campaign. And uh, his left and his now formed getter, Jason Miller. Good to speak to you, Jason. Hey, guys. Good to be with you. Um, so these alternative platforms, I guess, is that what we're calling these? And we all sort of remember Parler and whatever the debacle happened with Parler. What... Uh, how long has Getter been around, and, and what's the overall ethos of Getter? Yeah, absolutely. So we launched on July 4th of this past summer, and really what we're trying to do is make sure that we have a platform that people can come on, have social media, have their conversations, but there's no political discrimination where the big tech platforms will say, well, you're allowed to have free speech if we agree with you, but then if we disagree with you, we're going to put up warning labels or say you can't talk about, say, COVID treatments or other things that they say are hands off. And I think there's a big difference between saying someone wants to keep their environment safe, but then saying, eh, but there's political discrimination discrimination on who gets rights and who doesn't on a platform. Our goal is if you support free speech and you oppose cancel culture, regardless of where you come from, we think you'd be a good fit. There was a big thing a couple weeks back when Rogan said he was going over to get her. How did that come about? Uh, interesting you should say that. And so uh, things always kind of roll up. But Dr. Robert Malone, who you might be familiar with, he was one of the inventors of the R, um, excuse me, the mRNA vaccine technology, who's actually been a pretty outspoken uh, opponent of some of the mandated vaccine efforts uh, and some of the continued boosters. He's someone who's he's been active in the conversation. He's a big brain, a scientist guy. And he ended up 
going on Joe's show and they had a conversation uh, because a couple days earlier, Dr. Malone had been kicked off of Twitter for putting forth some of his medical studies and some of his opinions. Uh, Joe, obviously, is someone who's watching that space pretty closely, had the doctor on. Doctor brought it. They had a conversation. And then over the course of the next couple of days, you had a few other prominent people being kicked off of Twitter permanently. And so Joe, uh, without us talking to him, joined the platform, which was pretty cool. There are guys like who we've had on the show a few times and I've followed guys like Alex Berenson who repeated stuff that was on the CDC website and were thrown off of Twitter and or just were prescient with stuff, just saying stuff before the CDC came out with it like two weeks later. And they just booted, booted the guy. But like I said, some of the stuff was just stuff that was from the CDC website. What do, what do you think is behind that? Well, I think that this is where some of the platforms we talk about Twitter, Facebook, some of the uh, the bigger tech social media pl- platforms, they have a particular worldview when it comes to how we should be dealing with COVID. Keep in mind, it's not even just right now we're talking about some of the uh, the therapies and the technologies and things like that. But even go back to 2020 when they were putting people in digital jail for saying the virus came from a lab in Wuhan. Now, we don't know if it was created or if it was traipsed out by a sloppy worker. But the fact is, even the Washington Post and others have acknowledged it came from a lab in Wuhan. So they've been exercising and picking winners and losers in these free speech debates. But I would say, I mean, to your point, Adam, is that if you have someone like Berenstein who's saying, here's something from the CD website, a CDC website, and then they kick them off, that's v- very clearly editorializing. And I think that's why a lot of people are frustrated as we enter the second year of this virus. Well, I'm never sure what's in it for them as a business model, or is there anything in it for them as a business model? Is it all just ideology and we're rich and who cares? Or is there a business model behind it? I I find myself asking that a lot. Like, why are we, you know, you run Twitter. Alex Berenson's a very bright guy. He's an accomplished reporter. Why not let him say, hey, and he's not a you know, reckless, drunken guy who's, you know, go, going out there with a bunch of conspiracy theories. Why not? What doesn't it, how can that be good for your business model? So I, I think that's a really smart question because I think it's easier to point to, say, if it's someone like Apple. If Apple uh, is in some sort of spat, obviously they see China as a country uh, with more than a billion potential customers. They might make adjustments. But when you talk about the social media platforms, I, I fundamentally think, look, I've never met uh, Zuckerberg or Dorsey or any of the Google guys. I think they probably started off with the ideals of we want to push free speech and democracy and give everyone the kind of this digital square. But I think now it's into, hey, look, we've made our money. Uh, we don't like anyone who has a contrarian point of view. Uh, I think they lump a lot of people in kind of the flyover country or anyone who rebels against them as, oh, these might be the idiot Trump supporters. I think they, they look down their nose at a lot of folks. And I think they now have a, a pretty clear ideology from their own side. And uh, they again, they've made their money so that they want everyone to go their direction. I'll give you a specific example. The fact that, and again, I'm not uh, someone who gets big into the, the whole climate change uh, argument. Uh, that's something obviously I watch, but I'm not a, a zealot on either side on this one. But the fact that YouTube now throws up a warning if you even discuss climate change and it's not within their worldview, like the Barstool Sports guys, they were jokingly talking about climate change on their gambling show and they got a warning from YouTube. So I think some of these political ideology things are really starting to frustrate people. See, my head on a lot of this stuff is I feel I feel like this a lot. And I'll just give you an example. The the late night shows took a turn for the political at some point, and then they got very political, and then they got very anti-Trump. And my thing was like, at some point, someone else is going to pop up with an alternative view, and then they'll be popular, because it's sort of a, you give birth to it, in, in other words. You know what I mean? So now Gutfeld's on, and he has a very popular show because... We probably, for that. Yeah, we probably wouldn't have had it if they didn't go hard that direction. And it's sort of created this. And like when I used to peruse the um, iTunes top 100 podcasts, I didn't see any conservative podcasts on there. Now there's many. But that's because 
it, it was born out of too many progressive podcasts. Yep. So there was there was an imbalance. And whenever there's an imbalance, especially economically, you know, you open too many Italian food restaurants on one street. Someone's going to open a Greek place and the get get business. Deficiency yep. in the market. And it doesn't even have to be, you know, I, I like Gutfeld, but it doesn't even have to be good Greek food. <laughs> <laughs> you for a, a euro, you a gyro. Just, you're, just, <laughs> you're in the mood for Greek after a lot of Italian. And and, and I feel the same way about Getter. And it, and, and I don't I don't mean that it's bad, but what I'm saying is, is I feel like if I worked on um, Twitter, one of these platforms, I would say, look, I agree with all you guys. I hate Alex Berenson's guts or whoever, fill in the blank, whoever's getting kicked off this week for right. talking about Wuhan lab leaks or vax problems with vaccines or whatever. It is. But you understand if we kick them off, they're not just going to die. Eventually, they're going to go somewhere, mm -hmm. and then there's going to be this uh, other place, and that's going to take ears and eyeballs from us. It's also the yep. Streisand effect. You might not even know who Alex Berenson is. Right. His name's in the news as you're banned from Twitter. Whoever. Right. You're, Twitter, you're, making, sudden, you're making martyrs out of people, and then people are going to follow them yep. somewhere else. So, again, it doesn't feel like a great strategy. On the other hand, sorry, there is, uh, we say there's F you money, and then there's F me money. <laughs> and if you got two hundred billion dollars, maybe you're like fuck it. Yeah. yeah. Sorry. Go ahead, uh, <laughs> Jason. <laughs> no, I was gonna say, look, keep it. I, I think you make a great point because all the big tech social media platforms are basically at the uh, model on the beach money, right? I mean, you know, it's just uh, they can be hanging out with a supermodel on the beach. They have more money than, uh, you know, literally they could buy their own country if they wanted to. They're so rich. And so you map out, hey, wouldn't a smart thing to be say, we want to go and keep these customers on board. We want to have them be a part of our platform. We want to grow and then sell their information to advertisers, do their thing. But they've now made that conscious decision. You know what? We don't want any of these contrarian folks. It's not even just the U.S. Uh, you look at Brazil, you look at France, the U.K., they're having the same battles we are, but what they're shifting to, if you listen, I mean, for example, what Zuckerberg says about India, there's like, you know what, we'll go and gain customers from other countries uh, because there's a certain group of people that we just don't want on our platforms uh, because they're now, and again, this is into, you saw Zuckerberg spend money on some of the election type issues. Um, uh, some kind of, he describes them as more of the good government sense of things uh, in this last election, but they're now into, again, world forming and, hey, we want the world, to, we have all the money we need. Now we want to go and shape how it looks. Brian, question. Okay, Jay, so you're the CEO. You're obviously fully, you're on board. Sell me just as someone who doesn't know. How does this, how does Getter succeed where, I don't know, Parler or wherever, any number of imitators, you know, may have not succeeded? How, what's, what's the business model? Yeah, absolutely. So there, there are two parts of that question, uh, or two parts of that answer. The first would be, it has to be a good user experience, because it, too often with the uh, the challenger platforms, the alternative platforms, as Adam described it, a lot of times they've just, I mean, part of my language, but they've just kind of sucked. They just haven't been good. People say, man, I really want to get... Yeah. Oh, correct. And people have said, you know, well, and then, but here's the thing. It doesn't matter if you're the, the hardest core, maybe uh, ideologue on any extreme, you're not going to leave one of these Silicon Valley tech platforms unless you're going to something that's really good. So that was the first thing is we set out to say, we're going to make sure that Getter is really good, uh, longer posts, longer videos, smooth functionality. We launched live streaming. We'll have our short video component, uh, which will really be a competitor to Instagram Reels and TikTok. They'll launch in a couple of weeks here. So we have, and we've thrown in some other bells and whistles. So for example, when you sign up for your account for Getter, you can actually import in all of your tweets, which is pretty cool. So it populates your timeline. And in a couple of weeks down the road, we'll also have it so where you post on Getter for people who don't want to you know, leave all their followers back behind on Twitter. You can post on Getter and it'll appear over on Twitter as well. So you never have to go back. That's kind of in the coolness factor, uh, what makes it, but even because here's the thing, we've been around six months, but we're compared to platforms that have been around 10 or 15 years. Because if you're the user, you don't care how long someone has been around around, you just want a cool product. But when you talk about what kind of the, the longevity is, how we go and grow, is we continue to expand in the short video component. We're growing internationally. We're up to four and a half million users globally. Uh, but when we go into the summer, uh, and this 
maybe we can talk about in a future um, uh, conversation, we're actually going to launch a getter pay system, be a competitor to Apple Pay and WeChat Pay and Google Pay with a two coin wow. crypto ecosystem. So be what Facebook has failed to do with Libra and some of their crypto efforts, we're actually be successful with We're going to take this thing to a whole new level. And so I'm pretty excited about the uh, uh, look, it's not quite as crazy as sending a rocket ship to Mars, uh, but I'm going to do my best. Well, follow up question, if you don't mind, Adam. Well, is there, are there any restrictions on what one can say or post your free speech, you know, platform? What, are there any restrictions? Yeah, you know, and I'm glad you asked that follow up because that's, I should have had that as part of my last answer. The main reason why, say, Parler, for example, uh, which had their moment, I think they got up to like 16 or 18 million folks, but they had uh, purely a community policing moderation platform. That just doesn't work. You start to get flooded. You can't rely on all of your own people to go and moderate things because you might get attacked by ISIS or the CCP or the Russians uh, or you know, or just you know, crazy people who want to go online and you don't catch everything. With Getter, we have both a proactive and robust moderation platform where we make sure that your political speech is going to be protected, but uh, we make sure that there's no illegal activity, there's no pornography, uh, there's no uh, oh, no. racial or religious activity epithets um, <laughs> on the platform. I, I, I know, I know. Uh, but it's, uh, but we, we had to go and say, <laughs> we had to, hey, there, look, there are plenty of places uh, to go and get porn. Just the getter's <laughs> not going to be one of them. Um, and uh, it, 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 look, although I do say we, we do have a few porn stars uh, that are on the site. Uh, and so, but they, they keep it clothed and they're actually great contributors to the conversation that's uh, that's going on. Uh, but we, we had to say that, look, here's the thing. You have to make sure if you're going to scale a social media platform and you want this to be something that actually challenge big tech, something that's going to be available on app stores, something where people can go and uh, and be welcome to come. You can't have people come on and dropping, you know, the, uh, the super unholy negative word towards uh, uh, certain groups of people in this country. Otherwise, there's like... Uh, these are a bunch of whack jobs if you if you allow all the, the crazy hardcore uh, racial slurs and things like that. So you need to make sure that it's inviting. But at the same time, when it comes to your political speech, it's suns out, guns out, baby. If you want to come on and have some good conversation, as long as you're not getting into, again, the illegal territory or threatening or harming people, then no one's going to come in and try to editorialize what you're saying. What happened with Parler? And, and I'm, a, I'm a lay person, but Parler was relying on servers provided by folks that weren't parlor and that's how they shut them down i guess what do you guys do to avoid that uh, great question. So there's that intermediate step, and I probably should have been, uh, I deal with this stuff all day long, so sometimes I, I talk a little bit fast. The reason why Parler was deplatformed from Amazon, for example, which AWS, uh, Amazon Web Services, they're the, the best in the business. There's a reason why uh, Bezos has got all that money. I mean, he puts, puts together a good product. But what happened is they were not moderating their platform, and so they had people getting on there pushing things that uh, Amazon and uh, the Apple Store and people like that found objectionable, so then they took them down from that. So what we're developing, in addition to the the public cloud, as we talk about in AWS, which we're currently on right now, uh, within the next couple of weeks, we'll be finalized for having our private cloud backup. So we'll have redundancies at every step in the operation. So even if one of these, uh, you know, in Amazon or someone said, hey, we don't want to work with you anymore, which we hope it never gets to that point, but obviously we're preparing that that could be a possibility, we have a redundancy and see it's there. Now, there's one critical point that I got to say, just in, in full disclosure on this. There's one step within this whole process where there's no such thing as a redundancy, and that's your Apple phone. You guys might remember the Apple versus Fortnite fight where Apple went and kicked off Fortnite, even mm -hmm. though it was the biggest grossing uh, app that was out there. That a fees dispute it wasn't over moderation, it was over fees. Apple has a closed system, so they get to decide every single app that is on one of their phones. Google, if you have an Android, you can actually just go to a website and download the app and get it that way. So even if you're on the Google Play Store, you can still get it. But if you're kicked off of Apple, if they decide that, then there's no workaround. Uh, you're just basically screwed, for lack of a better term. So do you physically have then buildings with servers like hardware? I, 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 I'm such a, I'm so naive at all these things, but I mean, do you physically have to purchase the equipment and house it and cool it and maintain it and all that? So we don't. Um, and there are a couple ways to do it. You can have actual, actual rack space where you have that in there. Now, somebody does, and that's where we work with uh, we'll have both the uh, public cloud and a private cloud. So we have the redundancy there. Uh, but that's essentially uh, leased. Um, now, and then we also have, a, a, obviously, a disaster recovery setup. So in case anything were to go wrong or say all of Amazon uh, or all of our uh, private cloud servers were to 
to get shut down or uh, you know get hit by an earthquake or something like that. Then we have everything in, in disaster mode. Um, but everything is moving to the cloud now. And so when you actually own your own storage space on these things, there's a lot of upkeep. There's so much that's going on to making sure that you got the temperature, you got the electricity, you got the right infrastructure so it doesn't get hacked. There's so many things going into it. That's again why in AWS, why they're so successful when it comes to these servers, because people would rather say, hey, we're going to give you a couple extra bucks. You handle all of the uh, all of the details in the back end so we can just worry about our product. Now, I know Rogan initially talked about Getter and then some sort of disagreement broke out and he's now dropped off of Getter. Can you tell us the story behind that? Yeah, absolutely. So Joe is still on Getter. Uh, and I think we, we would have what uh, uh, again, I'm, I've never actually spoken with Joe. Uh, don't get me wrong, I'd love to speak with Joe, uh, but I haven't spoken with him, but he's still on the platform. Um, there were a couple things that popped up. Number one, um, we have our front end of our engineering got a little ahead of the back end, and where I told you in about two weeks we'll have it where you post on Getter and it appears on Twitter. Um, <laughs> our front end on the engineering, they put on there the combined followers for both, when people had their accounts for both Getter and Twitter, so you'd see the total. And so, for example, we have four million people on the platform, Rogan uh, popped up and had 8 million people following him, which is what he had on Twitter. Uh, and he said, uh, you know, this is, uh, you know, is what's what's kind of going on with the funny business. Um, what we did, just to make clear, until the actual cross-posting gets launched, uh, we now list on there, here's how many Getter followers you have, and here's how many Twitter uh, or overall followers you have, just so it's clear. So we clear that up. Uh, and the other thing, too, he asked a question, I'll just be direct with you on this, uh, about who was funding Getter. And someone had told him that it was uh, some CCP or some um communist Chinese operation, completely false. Uh, we have two international investment funds, one based in London, one based in New Jersey. They're contributing to it. There's not one penny of CCP or Chinese money. Uh, but I did have a good conversation with one of Joe's producers, uh, explained everything, and I'm very much looking for the opportunity to sit down and chat with them. And I, I tell you, the guy's got a, a, a great voice. He's more powerful than CNN and MSNBC uh, and all the, the haters rolled up into one. And the way he has single-handedly transformed so much media, it's great. I mean, he's given, he's helped, I should say helped, uh, give birth to an entire new way of decentralized communication uh, that I think it's pretty cool. Yeah. yeah. I was thinking the other day, somebody sent, uh, I try not to have positive thoughts about myself, but somebody said, <laughs> you slept, know, he slipped up. <laughs> I said, uh, Joe Rogan and Tucker Carlson are like the two most popular people outside of prime time or, or whatever in terms of views or ears or whatever it is. And I thought, both those guys came into my studio at some point and went, I want to do what you're doing and build my own studio and do it. And I thought, huh, that's flattering. Then I told my son, and he was like, yeah, all right. And then, uh, <laughs> then I was back to not feeling good about it. But both of them have said to me and said into microphones, I saw what you were doing your own thing. Right. And I thought, maybe I should do my own thing. Right. Can I, ask, I have a question about, the, I don't know anything about the world of finance. Why would it be a problem if there was... Chinese money or Russian money or whoever's money or a private company, you can do whatever you want. Why would that be a problem? Just perception? Uh uh, well, well, it's a couple things. Number one, it's your data security. And people see what's going on with the CCP and uh, the way that they're stealing Americans' data, any opportunity they get. I mean, if, if, if you fly to China uh, and you're an American and you have your cell phone with you, then you deserve to go to stupid jail for a couple of days because they're going to copy and clone the entire thing. You look at every company that goes to China, sets up the operation, they do the joint venture partnership, and then they steal the technology and m move ahead. But also, I think the way the uh, economies are more decoupling, uh, the and, and look, even the way that the, uh, the uh, I know this is a, a nerd acronym government term, but CFIUS, which is basically kind of the security review, they stopped that uh, Ant Financial from purchasing MoneyGram because they didn't want Americans' data to then go to the Chinese. So a lot of it comes back to uh, the cease. Now, obviously, a lot of patriotic Chinese Americans who live here, great, love it. If you're anti communism, you want to fight the CCP. Uh, but uh, CCP are some, uh, CCP are bad actors, uh, not just for what they're doing for stealing our technology, you know, but look what they're doing to Tibet and the Uyghurs. And it's pretty gnarly stuff. LeBron says no problem. Now, <laughs> did, uh, so as we, as we bring it home here, so you work with Trump, you work with Trump closely. And my first thought was, is he going to come back and run? And then my next thought was, wait a minute, he got kicked off of Twitter. Why isn't he on Gitter? And then I thought, 
in in a world where we, we talk about this, like unintended circumstances, I think kicking Trump off of Twitter has made him more popular. That's the FB yes. money. Is, I'm sure it was yeah. a big draw. His for inability to yep. communicate via Twitter has made him more likable. Not only that, Twitter was on the news every night because mm-hmm. Donald Trump tweeted today. Another Trump yep. tweeted today. Right. So is he coming onto your platform and is he running again? Great question. I'll take those in reverse order. So I do think he runs again as of right now. Obviously, uh, you know, or another, uh, I think we probably get a formal announcement later this year. Uh, but again, it, it's a long road to the coronation. If he runs, he'll be the Republican nominee. No one's going to be able to beat him on that side. A lot of things can happen uh, over the time stretch. I think if Trump, for some reason, doesn't run, uh, I think Florida Governor Ron DeSantis <laughs> is probably the mm-hmm. odds on favorite on the Republican side. Um, uh, but look, I, uh, look I, I'm a bit of still a political nerd, even though I'm running the company now. I would love for a Trump Hillary rematch had to go and pop up. But Ooh. I think, and I know this Trump might look, look, look crazy. Oh, uh, I would be, <laughs> look, I, I would, I think I might pay to go work on it. Just have the fun of going back and slugging all the craziness That's, of 2016. Uh, Tyson Holyfield uh, <laughs> too. Someone's going to get their ear bit off. <laughs> I, yeah, I, someone's, physically, someone's, I feel like someone's, the two of them should host the Oscars. We were talking oh, about that. Yes, oh, together. Get out of that. <laughs> so is he going to hop on Getter? So I think we end up getting him. Uh, yes, he has announced that he wants to start his own social media platform. Uh, I went to him, and, and obviously I'm pretty close with the president. Even before I officially took the job as Getter CEO, I made him a pretty outstanding offer, a lot of zeros um, that were behind it, and, but someone else came along and made him an even better offer. Uh, but I think that what we've launched with Getter, and yes, I'm the CEO, so of course I'm going to brag about it. I think it's something that's pretty special. Uh, I mean, I'll just give you an example. Trump had one of his rallies in Arizona this past Saturday. One million people watched his rally via Getter on our live streaming, um, just it, even though we only have four and a half million users on the platform. It's become that powerful of a tool. So I think he does end up joining at a certain point. Uh, but, you know, but the one thing, hey, there's always a, a silver lining on things. We got the president of Brazil to join uh, a lot of international figures from around the world who I'm not sure if they would have joined if President Trump uh, had been on already. But since they were first, we got him. Uh, but now I'd love to add him on. So, uh, Mr. President, uh, if you're watching the ACS, then mm-hmm. uh, um, you know, uh, let's go ahead and jump he on. Is. He is for sure. He, he always denies it, but I can tell. <laughs> Jason Miller, uh, the uh, platform is Getter. That's G E T T R. It's available on the App Store and Google Play. Getter.com is where you can go. Good to speak to you, Jason. Hey, thanks, guys. I really appreciate it. All right. Uh, Andy Dick is in, in the building. Uh, do we have uh, Michael Zorick from Private School? And Teen Wolf 2. <laughs> yeah. It was <laughs> private school. It was private school. It doesn't right. have a ton of credit, so and it's hot pretty... hot moves. It's pretty phenomenal. Oh, like hot moves. Oh, that's such an 80s what's the, title. What's that about? <laughs> what do you think that... If you were pitching hot moves to an executive, Adam, give me the elevator pitch. It's right pitch. there in the title. Oh, it's a, a, a basketball star. <laughs> has a, a c- it, career... Uh, can you hear me? Is that just me? I hear you. Oh, that's my headphones. Oh, you bump them or something? In and out. Oh, Sorry. that's a classic picture. Yeah. Look at that. Um, is that Matthew? Oh, oh yes. <laughs> that yes. guy. Right? That oh, guy. Yeah. Look at him in drag, too. But look, <laughs> oh, yeah. No, I, that's what I said. He does look like that cheerleader. He's a bit of a mook. Oh, that poor girl. Where is she now is the question. <laughs> this guy's for sure from New Jersey. Oh, yeah. Well, I hope she didn't get the COVID because she's definitely got some pre-existing conditions. So that's... that's <laughs> That's my take on her. This guy was the mook from the early 80s yes, titty always. movies. He's a type unto himself. Yeah, yeah. And he was like likable and yes, funny and fast. Like, I, I, I don't know what happened. I don't. He's been in five 80s movies. Oh. Private School, The mm-hmm. Woman in Red, Ooh. Hot Moves, Hot Moves, Teen Wolf 2, mm-hmm. and Spellcaster. Ooh. Mm-hmm. And then he just hung it up. What is he doing now, Chris? What are yeah. doing now? Uh, I. He's don't, on Getter. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's the uh, stay-at-home father. Oh, he's a mouth breather for sure. <laughs> <laughs> right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is. Oh uh, yes, yeah. Yeah, you guys have to watch Private School. Oh yeah, totally watch Private. School. She's been in a lot of stuff. There's a lot of movies where the guys had to dress up as girls to sneak into the locker right, room. Right, but look, so nobody's well, looking at him thinking convincingly. That's, Yes. I mean, just put lipstick. There's nothing else on him except a wig and lipstick. 
We were so gullible back then. <laughs> he looks like unfrozen caveman lawyer. <laughs> I know, he really does. All right, let me tell you, before we bring Andy Dick in, let me tell you about uh, Geico. Do you own, do you rent? Well, you do one or the other, and I bet you work hard. I'll tell you what's easy, bundling policies with Geico. Geico makes it easy to bundle your homeowner's or renter's insurance along with your auto policy. It's a good thing, too, because you already have so much to do around the house. So what you do is you go to Geico, and you go to geico.com and you get a quote and you see just how much you could be saving when you get your bundle working at Geico. That is at geico.com. Old friend Andy Dick in studio right after this. The Adam Carolla Show presents Andy Dick's birthday cocktail party for December 21st. Let's see who's invited. Let's welcome talk show pioneer, Phil Donahue. Jane Fonda is here. Guitarist, Albert Lee. Samuel L. Jackson is here. Hot child in the city, Nick Gilder. American tennis player, Chris Everett. Everybody loves this guy. Ray Romano is here. So is Kiefer Sutherland. French President Emmanuel Macron. And it's about to get weird because Frank Zappa just showed up. Andy Dick on the Adam Carolla Show. Well, we're waiting for Andy to come out of the bathroom, which always worries me. So <laughs> I just decided we should start because I know Andy pretty well and soon we'll be in the bathroom for a little while. But he's making uh, his way into comes. the studio. <laughs> And he's sitting down, and he's taking his perch, and he's moving the mic toward his mouth. Now, a lot of people don't realize, but Andy was the motivating force behind me building this studio. Now, we You're kidding. spoke earlier that uh, I inspired right. Joe Rogan and Tucker Carlson to build their own studios. Andy inspired me. Wow, he's the, to, oh, to build, the genesis of it to all. To build mine. Mm-hmm. Huh? He's, uh, he's, How did he's that gonna come be, about? It's going to be... Oh, I'll, I'll tell you how that went about. I want to be closer. To yeah, you. be prepared for a lot of this. <laughs> <laughs> so you can lean forward. Uh, how did that come about? Good to see no, you, Andy. My back hurts. Yeah, no, it doesn't. How are you? Good. You good. look so Chris, good. Chris, get so a do coaster. You, by the way, baby. Thank you. <laughs> you, not so much. Oh, I'm hiding in there. <laughs> mm -hmm. No, you, do, you look good, too. Thanks, uh, best. So, Andy, do you know why <laughs> I, I built the, uh, the studio? I heard because said of you? That I motivated you. Did I really? Mm hmm. Fuck at it. I love it. Well, how? How did that happen? Probably I said, do it or shut the fuck up. <laughs> no. Nope. Something like that, though. Yeah, let's, let's, yeah, what uh, What do you think the scenario was? Because we're at my I, house. I really don't remember. Yes. I thought that's where we were going to be today. Yeah. I haven't seen your new house. He says, we, uh, like, yeah, we're... like I'm going to tell you where I live. <laughs> All right. We, we uh, did the show out of my den in my house okay. for eh, probably the first six months or something. Um, one day after Andy came in, well, two things. Andy came in oh, and he <laughs> ate all of my lunch meat and pre-sliced cheese. Ooh. Yeah. Now, I don't know if you guys feel about that, but a man walks into another man's house and eats all the lunch meat and pre-sliced cheese. If, so. if a man walks into another man's house and doesn't get fed, you're the oh, asshole. Wow. Well, you're the asshole. All right, all right, all right. I mean, he was right. the guest. All right, I see it. So then, <laughs> I'm sorry if I did that. Though. <laughs> later on, so I took note of that, but I thought, all right. Uh, Obviously, but, but at didn't. some point, days after Andy had done the show, mm -hmm. I kept I smelled cigar smoke, like that 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 thing uh, of like it was that smell of like when I, someone smokes in a bathrobe <laughs> at, for for a year and then you put the bathrobe on and you go i know he's not smoking now but <laughs> I, I can smell it lingering sense. and i was like why is it and i i kept kind of looking around and kind of opening a window and try to air out the room and stuff but it just i come back the next day smell like cigars come back the next day smell like, and finally i said to donnie who's doing the show i said ha there's a smell of a cigar. I can't get rid of it. What's going on? He goes, Andy Dick left his cigar behind. I said, yeah, well, what is, Where it? Goes, is it? I wrapped it up in a napkin and put it behind the printer. 
Why would he do well, that? Yeah. Like, Why would he do that? Because it's going to be like, you know, one of John Lennon's pubes yeah, or yeah, something. Yeah, yeah. Like It's going to be worth something. <laughs> I was like, so that similar. I was like, hey, stoner, you fr-, but then you forgot about it, and it, it was a half-smoked cigar that was three feet from me the whole time. But, of course, I didn't think to check. Uh, no, no one Look would. under and behind the computer. So thanks for the inspiration to move that's, here, Andy. That's, oh, that. Okay, that's how oh, I look, got you to Inspiration start is inspiration. That's right. It doesn't matter where it you comes You know what from. I mean? This studio is so beautiful. Thank you. And that car out there, mm-hmm. it's a, what, Ferrari Lamborghini? Lamborghini. Lamborghini. They told me. Mm-hmm. And is it, what, 1967? <laughs> yeah, let's say. No, let's yeah, say. Yeah, I think it is. Uh, it could it be 68. I, know, I don't know. Okay. Mid-67. Great. Early 68. So what are you doing, free. Andy? What's well, your world like? Well, how much is that thing? Like three hundred uh, grand? Yeah, probably somewhere in there. Okay, okay. What, we can uh, move on now from thanks. the car. What? Uh, <laughs> what's your world like? What's your schedule like? What do you do all day? Ooh, a lot of this and that. Mm-hmm. This meaning this, mm-hmm. and that meaning that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, Kamala Harris has better answers than that. <laughs> Bald Brian <laughs> on the tunes. Mm-hmm. All right. So, Andy, what's your what's your personal no, life for real. like? Um, well, first of all, I don't want to be in a relationship. Mm. I know what's going on with you, and I'm, I'm not going to get into that. Mm-hmm. Cryptic. Cryptic. Yes. <laughs> yes. I'm getting divorced. Yeah. <laughs> all right. He said it, not me. All right. But, Andy, yeah. what what is going on? I'm... Dating a bunch of people. But you uh-huh. don't want to get in a relationship. I don't want to be in one. But why? Mm-hmm. Because I don't want to put my crap on them. Mm. Okay. All right. But you're... That's how you should be. How do you meet one. a lot of people? Like They're all out there right now, half of them. By the Lamborghini? They're in it. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you didn't leave the keys in it. Are they... Uh, they can't drive a stick. They're too young. <laughs> Let's be honest. I, my dad made me learn how to drive... With a stick. Yeah, because you're 55. Stick his dick. <laughs> Is that what happened? Finally made him laugh. <laughs> Is, so uh, it's you're dating. That what happened. What yes. are you doing professionally? This and mm-hmm. a little bit of that. Mm-hmm. I have to do a movie later today. It, you do? COVID actually brought my career. Thank you, COVID. <laughs> Shout out to COVID. What, what? Why? What? How did that work? I don't know. Because I was the only one that would show up to the set without a mask. I think mm-hmm. that's what it was. I'm so like, you're, you're working on features? Mm-hmm. What mm-hmm. about like They're TV not the shows? best features. I, I get yes, it. And Has Hollywood shows. turned its back on you? Sounds like you did, you fucking bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I love right. when I hear that. Has Hollywood stuff. done? I look, <laughs> Hollywood's fickle. I, no, I don't have a lot they, of fans they, in Hollywood. D- I, you got one right here. That's right. Well, that's part of the problem. <laughs> How many Handy Dick says? <laughs> How many years? I was trying to tell my friends out there. We've been uh, friends for like thirty years. I, think. I mean, you probably came on Loveline in the midder. 90s. Is that how you guys met? 95, 96. Yes. Well, I mean, look, I would watch TV shows and MTV. So and, he thought he met me. And I By watching TV. And I forgot to say, look, Ben Stiller show, um, news New radio. radio. Mm-hmm. Like, I, I watched all those shows. I was a yeah. civilian, so I knew who Andy Dick was long before he knew When who I was. met Adam, I was blown away, and I still am. He's so good, so funny, so quick. Sharp, witty. Let's look at him. Oh, and handsome. You. Oh, God bless you. Why are you I may join your, I'm sorry. I may join Good. your posse. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome to. How? Why are you getting a divorce? You brought it's it not up. Not my idea. I didn't want to really? get divorced. No. That sucks. Yeah, it's sad. She's seen somebody else. I'm sure. Yeah. Oh, I don't want to talk about it anymore. Now I'm getting depressed. <laughs> well, it's been a little while. I mean, to be fair. It's been a little while. <laughs> Bob Bryan, get the music. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know that, Is that song? A song. You know that song. Yeah. <laughs> a little. How's it going? You know, it's Jody. been a little while. You know. You sounds you like have you're a rip here. I right, don't Jody. touch Jody. No, I Jody have, has a rip. I don't have enough insurance to cover whatever <laughs> she's going to claim later don't on. Say that. Like I'm touch. Like I'm not. By the way, whoever's listening. 
which not that many people. By the way, oh, there, this ooh, one. there you this go. One. That's it. That's right. And you have a lot of followers. Good. Well, I'd, I'd like to reintroduce <laughs> you, you to, to them. So listen, Andy. <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm right here. You. Now, first off, I always ask. You really but, have a rip there. But I have a couple. Who, who is gay and straight and does as well with both parties? Ah, there you go. Phone going. I'm trying it off. I'm trying it off. It's all. I'm trying Check to every on. box. Um, so what is it? What, are, are we, is it just bisexual and that's it? Or do we have streaks? There's a, there's a bunch of different terms they use now. Pan. Pan. Right. But, fluid. Fluid. But can you There's be with a woman ones. for a couple of years and then switch over? Yes. Wow. That fluid. Nice. <laughs> that I, listen, so I, fluid. <laughs> you've, you've uh, you essentially opened up half the populace of the planet. Or did I open you up? Oh. <laughs> Emotionally. <laughs> <laughs> it's <been a> while. <laughs> so, Andy, uh, what do you do for income if you're not... Doing a lot of working. Excuse me. I said I am doing a lot of working. But yeah, he said they were kind of, Did you not hear me? Like he, B really? Movies. Does he not listen to his guests? I was listening, he, but you said the movies were kind of. Well, still paying. they don't pay, C, pay a lot. They yes, don't pay a right lot. about that. Mm -hmm. yeah, how much are you paying me? Do you have besides a, zero? <laughs> I have to pay you to be. Do honest. you have a trade to fall measure. back on? No, I have no money saved up. Have you ever had, Don't yell at me. what was your last civilian job? Like Andy Dick Roof Bus boy. Bus boy. Really? When I was like 15. Was that really like the last? No, that wasn't the last one. Civilian. What's no. the last civilian job you got? Waiter. Mm-hmm. In my, no, I was a delivery guy. I delivered movie posters oh. when I was oh, about wow. 23 mm -hmm. in my car, rolled up. Shoved in a tube for real movies, and I would deliver them to I don't know theaters. I guess I really don't know. I didn't Bus pay attention. Did you? Uh, when when was your first break as an actor? What was the first project? Was, I'm waiting for it. Are you giving it to me now, boy? <laughs> it's this movie boy. that you're filming after this. Uh, actually, I don't even know what I'm doing. I can't keep up with all the. I'm not kidding when I say my shit went up during COVID. But what was the first? What was the what was the first bit of success? I did a commercial when I was eighteen for Alaskan Airlines. I was an extra, an extra. So that was the that was the big one. Well, b yes, b only because I was laying down in the extra room where there was about twenty of us. It was mm -hmm. with Joe Suttlemeyer, very big, probably the biggest commercial director from Chicago. And I was laying in the extra room. I was sleeping under the clothes rack. Because mm -hmm. I'm like, they're never going to use me or half of us. So I'm going to take a nap and get paid 40 bucks. Right? Right. Be an extra. But then they came in. And they looked around. Somebody was screaming. And they were looking around. And they saw me under the clothes and said, you, come here. I'm like, what, what, what? And I jumped up. Is this making a noise? Sounds no, like you're good. Take it off. He's pointing at his pants. I <laughs> wanted to know if his pants were making noise. <laughs> are my pants making noise? So <laughs> no. And then they uh, there was a there was a man in the Alaskan Airlines commercial who was like 88. Mm -hmm. I guess he couldn't. Do oh, it. the one where they had that weird trumpet music, bum, 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 like those. 80s. I don't know. You could find it. They, you guys remember Paul Bryan? <clears throat> say Andy Dick, comma no. Alaskan, Alaskan Airlines. Airlines yeah. they, Alaskan, Alaskan Airlines Alaskan. ran like a funny campaign. I don't remember yes. that. In the in well, the eighties. Up, are, aren't you the like guy? Hello, funny Jody? trumpet Nobody? sound. <laughs> yeah, kind of assistance to you. Cranking back then. <laughs> cranking away. Well, I you're not I've, assistance, by the way. You're co host I haven't heard it in a while, but they they play like. It was a kind of kooky trumpet, and it was their was funny it in a spots. cab? No, it was on an airplane. That would make a lot more sense. Well, there's one in a cab. <laughs> oh, there's one? With Andy no. Dick? Not with me. Well, it's the first thing that comes up when you Google Andy Dick Alaska. Oh, well, let's see it. Maybe. Let's see this one. But it, uh, it, oh, is this you? Probably not. It. Oh, that, you look, actually, this is you. That, <laughs> that might be me, too. <laughs> 
9 a.m. flight. That's no right. problem. Good. Oh. I don't think it's this one. <laughs> That's not that one. But it's in the same era. That's you're mm -hmm. on the right track. But anyhow, that so the 88 year old got fired because he couldn't oh. do whatever. Couldn't memorize this line. There wasn't a line. That's the thing. Well, there's no line. No. Oh, and so God. they put me down in the airplane seat and said, just take this little sandwich out of a box, open it up, it said delicious on it. I'm on the airlines. It's supposed to be. I'm always, by the way, I always play the guy on the <coughs> other. So I, I'm the have, shitty guy. We have the. Come on, yes, these this are, is it. <gasps> this is so the fucking cramped on the seat. Oh, oh, there you are. There I am. Tasty. It right. says tasty. There I am. 18. What's next? Did you see that? That was good. Oh, no. So young. I know. What's but this guy doing? We Rewind it back feed. to my look. That's what oh, he said. He right. said, take the thing out and just, you know, just take it out. And that's what I did. And then and then he said, we're done. Cut. I'm out. One take. Out. Wow. I made so it. much fucking money yeah. off that. Oh, my God. Wow. Yeah. From sleeping as an extra for 40 bucks. Under the clothes, I, think I made tens of thousands, maybe hundreds of thousands. Of wow, it's totally it different going. back then. The visual gag here is that Andy is pulling some disgusting thing out of a box on an airplane, yeah. like, "Whoa, don't God forbid, ever guess to this." Right. Yeah, here, and where here we, we are. are. And here we exactly. So, the last I, it, they had a whole series of commercials <laughs> that were funny about how bad the airline. Is. I actually want to. Can I see we it hear again? the little jingle? I want to hear. The yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's turn it up. I love it. I love it. Man. On some airlines often many reduce, airlines offer often reduced reduce rate, rate fares. fares. I remember. Unfortunately, <laughs> that's, that's not, not all, all they, they reduce. reduce. It makes you wonder. <laughs> that was great. Next? It is. I hate to use the bathroom. I love that. It <laughs> is. That got me my SAG card. Yeah. Do you like have for real. For a dollar? Anybody have oh, I remember this guy. Yeah, this, this guy was the quarters for yeah. two dollars. Two quarters for five dollars, please. Oh boy, I'd appreciate it. On Alaska he, Airlines, yep, yep, we have yep. low fares too. Yeah. But you he, Joan Suttlemeyer, loved characters like me. I, I would, I did, I think eleven commercials with him. Oh, really? That was my first one. Got me. Anyways, that was. I answered your question. That's what, that was the break. That's great. I remember yeah. that spot. That, the bald guy, two quarters for but five dollars. only, yeah, yeah, but it only aired. Uh, here in California. Yeah, I, I never was in saw Chicago. Oh my yeah. God. Yeah, he did Where's the Beef, which I was thinking yes. when you watch this, yes. is, I was about to say, it's like a Where's the Beef yes. esque yes. commercial. Yep. So then you go from that to where? Uh, I flew out here, right? From where? Chicago. Mm hmm. He really doesn't listen to it. All right. Songs. Well, he said he's a director, but it doesn't mean you have to shoot it in Chicago. Or maybe he said that. Most See? stuff is shot out here. All right, but you flew out here. I Quiet. flew out. Right. And that that's a long story. I flew out, flew back, then flew out, <clears> stayed. <throat> and I'm still here, Adam. Still motherfucking here. <laughs> that's going to be the name of your book. <laughs> yes, I'm that's a great title. <laughs> here, write it down. Guys in the room over there, if you can hear me, my boys, <laughs> write that down. There's I'm some still celebrated authors in that group, if I know Andy. Don't make fun of my boyfriends. <laughs> and ne none of them are my boyfriends. Oh, yeah, that's right. Except the fat one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, compared to you, everyone's fat. So let's. You can't be. You can't I, base it on oh your metabolism. I really. Somebody said I look like a crack addict lately. Do oh, I? No. No. I'm svelte. Not I think you look great. And you smell great, sick. too. Yeah. Fentanyl, maybe. <laughs> crack. No way. It's too expensive. <laughs> Oh, the fentanyl, fentanyl, so cheap. the fentanyl cologne is not cheap. <laughs> the fentanyl cologne. <laughs> have you, oh, uh, have you the, encountered the any fentanyl in your, yes. in your travels? Oh, yeah. You know, oh, good. Dangerous, you're, right? So oh, dangerous. you're about to hear the story. But first, let me tell you, the cologne are, is Mercedes-Benz. Diesel? They oh, <laughs> oh and no, it's a, this cologne. They make a it cologne? It came in a bottle. Somebody had it, and they gave it to me. And I, I'm putting it on for... I'm, Put it on today. Nice. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, but Smells somebody nice. said, you know, that's the thing that they give to people that buy the Mercedes, Mercedes to spray in the car. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I'm wearing something oh, wait, called what? Wizard right now. <laughs> Wizard? <laughs> what is that? It's a uh, bathroom air freshener. Should have gone blade. <laughs> Comes in roll on. 
are solid <laughs> as well. Adam, you smell Glade. like a wizard today. <laughs> Glade, wizard. I'm trying to think of who else made. What wizard? Wizard You're like, You smell like a plug-in. I think yeah. Glade's the popular one. Now. Glade's the popular one. I, wizard I, was the one I, I, I have a plug-in right now. Or Febreze. Febreze would have For Febreze. Is Febreze. Wizard That's a good still one. Febreze around? is still around. Febreze is totally Wizard's still around, too. Oh, it is. oh yeah. You guys, uh, he'll put up a can of Wizard and you'll go, like, ah, oh, yeah. So, wait, oh, Adam's what's, going, in the room. what's going on with Smell fentanyl? The with what? Fentanyl. Oh, nothing. So, uh, th- this happened literally six, about a year ago. Boys, they would know. About mm-hmm. a year ago, somebody laid out a pile of cocaine, a mountain of it, mm-hmm. okay, in front of me. And two of my friends in the bathroom, like a little mini mountain, okay. I'm like, and I'm just, I was so drug hoary and greedy. I pushed them into the wall. Mm. I went, watch me. Mm-hmm. And I did the whole <laughs> mountain. Like Heath Ledger's Joker right there. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was like that. And they said, you know, that was fentanyl. Really? And I'm like, and what's your point? And then I started telling a story and they said, my hand was up as I'm telling a story within 30 seconds. And I dropped mm. dead. dead. Really? Dead. Flat line. Yep. Well, they. Blue lips. They cold, tell not Not so breathing. I've, they had to push on my chest till they broke my ribs. They had to give me mouth to my. So it was two of my friends. Both of them are out there, actually. And I'm like, so they told me when I came back to life, if I, they weren't there, I would not have come back to life. One of them kept running down to the tent people outside my apartment building to get, what's it called, Narcon? Yeah, Narca, oh. uh, yeah. No, oh. Narcon, mm. whatever. Four times. Oh, my God. You'd normally take one and you come back to life. They were throwing water on my face, hitting me, slapping me mouth to mouth. Norcon, Narcon, whatever it's called, four times. And finally, I'm like, what's going on? What ha- what's going on? My first thing was, where's the drink? <laughs> and secondly, they said, you died. Paramedics were there. It was really This is dead. less than a year ago? Yeah. No, about a year. Mm-hmm. I, they would know more. I lose track of time. Since I died, my brain is a little off. Did... Now they say, no, but anyways, when yes. I came back, I'm like, they said mouth to mouth. I'm like, well, Hannah, which one gave me mouth to mouth? And it was the fat one. I'm like, you know what? Can you, next time, you know what? You should have just let me die. <laughs> or, or at least let the hot one give me yeah. mouth to mouth. He doesn't have a, uh, enough air. <laughs> you needed, a bigger, yeah, you needed, needed a, bigger, a bigger guy. No, to... he just wanted to see me die. <laughs> they really are out there. It's weird. So, Still motherfucking here. Fentanyl. That's the killer. It is. It yeah. kills everybody. Everybody. Yeah. I'm surprised that you were able to take that much. I mean, just the like the I the didn't smallest no, amount. and I wouldn't. I now I do that thing that Russian czars do, where they have other people a test tester. the drug. Yeah, I'm like, mm. you do it first. Now, <laughs> <laughs> so we have drug tasters. <laughs> uh huh. What is uh, our... Uh, I do. Where are you at in uh, terms of sobriety? Still yeah. motherfucking here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm hither and thither. Mm. What, 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 have, you, have you talked to Dr. Drew in a while? No, have you? Yeah, earlier today, actually. <laughs> How's he doing? <laughs> He's doing well. I'm sure he'd like to talk to you about this. Why? Does he have a show? Oh, no. wow. Why would he want to talk to me? He would talk to you because he thinks of you as a friend. Well, he's not calling me. Mm. Have the same number for 30 fucking years. Interesting. You call, He called me, Adam, mm-hmm. on All my right. cell phone that he's had for 30 years. Mm. That's a good point. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you you called me, out. he didn't. All right, I'm going to tell you him. Know, Do no, you want not, him to call you? Well, now, you know what? No. <laughs> I was going to say, like, is that... <laughs> I'll tell him to do it, and he'll do it later on today. Okay. Yeah? Yeah, because I miss him. Oh, uh, yeah. How's he doing with, uh, what, what is her name? The, his Susan? wife. His what? wife. Susan. Oh, they're still going out? Yeah, they've, they've been dating for like 37 <laughs> years. Um, I really love She wanted to make a bobblehead of me. Uh, <laughs> Let her. Ah, it feels weird. Does it? 
Oh, well, to maybe it, it can't be your idea. If someone else wants yes, to do it, then it no. If you were like, I want money. a bobblehead, then it's weird. Somebody else right. makes it; it's fine. All right. Wait, does she? She make... made a bobblehead of Drew. Oh, and is that her new job? Uh, making bobbleheads. It's part of what she does. Oh. <laughs> it's not the entirety of her being. <laughs> it's about eighty yeah, percent of her. Eighty so percent bobblehead. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I miss being on your show. Uh, well, I do have to. This is security at my building. That okay. could be bad. Yeah, talk Hello. To Make sure they got those hey, epi pens. Just wondering how long till you're back. Oh, um, like an hour. Yeah, an hour. What are you getting into? I'm on the air right now, Eric. <laughs> okay. Okay, but I should have left you a key. Just, um, uh, they can't go. That nobody has a key except me. Sorry, I have to keep it that way. Yeah, it's fine. But just wait in the lobby for an hour. Go out to lunch. Okay, I'll go out to lunch. I'll see you in an hour. I love you. Love you, buddy. Good. Bye. Bye. Still motherfucking here. (laughs) That's security? (laughs) Security passed it to somebody who's there trying to get Uh, into my apartment. No, I was like, that security Mm -hmm. guard is very intimate sounding. (laughs) I know. No. The first guy was scared. Now, wait, was that that guy was pretty willing to eat? Is that the fat one? Oh, he's back there. Okay. (laughs) I'm just saying, because most of the time when I go to someone, I'm going to be about an hour, go eat lunch. I go, I already ate lunch. Or they go, like, screw you. Or what am I? That happened yesterday with him. Mm -hmm. I'm like, making grilled cheese, my friend was, and I'm eating one. I'm like, you want half of the grilled cheese? He's like, I just ate. And I'm like, Thriller. <laughs> what did you eat? And can't you keep eating? <laughs> can't you keep eating? Can I bring him in? Actually, no, no. What's no. your fucking problem, <laughs> what, Chris? What did I say before Andy Dick came in here today? To you? Um, crazy people always want to bring other people in the studio. That's what I said, right? So be prepared. Yeah, you know, crazy don't travel alone. For, how about that, this? Uh, that's going to yes, be the name of my book. <laughs> There's no such book. thing as yes, crazy correct. traveling alone. Yes. And for some reason, at some point, they want to share it with you. That's hilarious. And I told Chris, it's exactly what's going to happen. It. Let oh. him pass through and say hi and leave. <laughs> like in five seconds, <laughs> just so you can get a visual <laughs> on how big of his weight. Yeah, oh I God. don't see color or weight. Okay. All right. Then you're not going to see him. At all. <laughs> so that's how I am. I don't judge. I don't. I don't see these things. Color or weight. <clears throat> I'm that. I'm that evolved. Uh oh. Someone's calling again, Andy. Mm-hmm. Not going to talk. No. Mm-hmm. It, I only. Uh, right. Security. I didn't all know right. what was going on. So what's the what's the so what what are we like? Are we doing drugs? Are we drinking? A little. I have sheesh. a glass of wine at dinner. Uh huh. I had that's a 13 day. dinners today. <laughs> I just was going to say, what time is dinner? Oh, Four, seven, eight, 7 a.m. <laughs> <laughs> My first dinner is at 6 a.m. That's fair. No, no, no. I, today, you know what? I think it's from last night still. I mm. didn't sleep a lot last night. Mm. Mm-hmm. Emotional problems mm-hmm. because of a relationship, which is why I, I stopped talking about yours because I think about mine. Mm. Do you think you're just worn out from the chubby chasing? Huh? <laughs> it can be tiring chasing it's a chubby. So you tiring. know what? That's, <laughs> That's why he's so thin. I actually don't bring him in now. <laughs> he's not one him. of my boyfriends. Oh, I'll be the judge of that. <laughs> All right, now I feel high. So... And you know, you're spelling the maybe, fentanyl maybe coming off time, my breath. Maybe it's time. What do you think about settling down, <laughs> having another child? Another one. I have three already. You know that. How many do you have? Four, right? No, two. Well, catch up, bitch. Yeah. <laughs> How old are you? I've met your son. One of Which them. Which one? I think. Can you believe that some of the people I'm dating are oh. younger than my youngest oh my God. daughter? Oh, man. Oh, my God. How old is your youngest daughter? Twenty. Four, twenty-five. No, yeah, I don't. Yeah, don't ask me. <laughs> what is she, my fucking daughter? Never in the annals of Hollywood has something like this ever happened before. Uh, ever this shocked. Is, this is amazing. So, Andy. Yes. Um, <clears throat> what's? Oh, oh, sorry, my headphones screw up. What's what What's happened? the schedule like for you? Like, walk us through a, there, a day in the life one. of Andy. Dick. It like it, I, I sort of got today. I woke up. I'm like. 
I woke up with, you know, there's always people in my place. I'm like, um, I have to go. I forgot that I was doing your show. I forgot mm-hmm. till mm-hmm. what's her name? Charlene or mm-hmm. is that her yeah. name? Sharon? <laughs> yeah. What is her name? Yeah. Okay, whatever. You're right. So then what's your name here? Cheryl? Come on. Charlene. Yeah. Charlene. It's yeah. something like that. So you came here. Well, I, I woke up like, oh my God, I have to be, I got to get dressed because they're picking me up in an hour. I forgot mm-hmm. I'm doing Adam's show. I already canceled it, remember? Yeah, I, I remember. I wasn't feeling well. I remember that. Yeah, but that was a morning thing. I know. I said, don't You're do not a that morning again. guy. Oh, and that was going to be at your house. That, that's why. What time do you go to bed at night normally? There's no such thing as bed, first of all. I mean, I mm-hmm. have a bed. But there's always somebody next to me. This guy? Out there? Yeah. Still uh, if, fucking if, here. Is the prodigious <laughs> sexual appetite if, as no, robust no, 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 no. as it was 20 yeah. years ago, 30 yes, but, years ago? Yes. Really? But, yes. But the if the big guy's in my bed, which he has been, <laughs> then I'm not. That's how big he is. <laughs> So if he jumps on a bed, will you fly off like they do that launch thing at the lake? Yes. <laughs> it is like that. So if he ever needs to get you up, he just has a cannonball. Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> you go and he's, he's like, yes. you have the Adam Carolla show today, and then he jumps Boom. on the bed. He's <laughs> and then he goes flying up. And fly up and then into my clothes. Close. Somebody's holding your clothes up, and there you go. Yeah. yeah. Oh, God. I wake Watch up me. <laughs> oh, God. All right, Andy, you want to hang out and do some news with us? Yeah. Can I go pee? Oh, really? we have to You're the in the bathroom right? so for you... 20 minutes before we start. No, I this wasn't. Show. All right, 11 minutes. Okay. I suggest you stay in here. We're just going to roll it right over. I just I'll, I also want coffee. You're fine. We're good. Oh, my God. Okay, we'll just Dad. roll right into news. Hurry up, Don. All right, Still we'll motherfucking a, here. <laughs> we'll take a quick break. We'll come back. Oh, good. I like Here's that. News. Here we go. Don't We're rolling. rolling right into it. The Adam Carolla Show. Your source for the news that matters. Or random stories that piss Adam off. Well, Brian had to pee, so now Andy has to pee. But that's all right. But I don't have to pee. Yeah. Or I could just pee right here. Yeah. Should we just go right <laughs> into it? Yeah, we'll get some of that wadding and see if we can pop it up. <laughs> it's called wadding? Is it? What? The wadding the stuff with they this... shoved up your nose. Oh, it's the packing. They call it a packing. Oh, but it's really wadding. I guess it's a wad, but it's packing. It is mm. it is like packing material. Is packing compressed wadding? I think it is. We'll figure out the difference between packing and wadding. Sorry. Okay, no. All right. All right. Let's talk about Kathy Griffin, guys. Oh, yeah. Because uh, she's, I think she's great. I've worked with her a few times. And you're a good friend. Are you friends with her? You're friends with her, right? They're, they're people in the business. Right. Like Kathy, maybe Andy Dick, uh, <laughs> David Allen Greer. Mm-hmm. I know David Dick. It's yeah. hard to be friends with yeah, them no, because they're yeah. insane. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. But I've known them for long periods right. of time and had many good interactions right. with them. Well, she's obviously trying really hard to get back on that D list. Um, ever since the whole 2017. <clears throat> Hold on, Brian oh. needs to know he's now officially an enabler. Oh, oh yeah, you, you set Andy that right Dick up. Will yeah. not come back from the bathroom now. <laughs> because of my actions. Yes, you, had to pee. you like, literally opened the door to his I really bathroom. Did. bathroom. You did. All right. Uh, I'm talking about Kathy Griffin. She's trying to get back, obviously, back you know to where she was sure. before the 2017 debacle. In my opinion, I mean, she and this is such a great quote and so true. She said, "I wasn't just canceled; I was erased," which is 100 percent correct. I mean, she was obliterated. <laughs> I mean, I. First of all, let me just ask you a question. Do you believe that she should have been, you know, erased no. the way she was? No. no I don't either. Her, the Remember? problem is a press conference. That was the problem. Oh, oh yeah. Yes. It wasn't the thing. The whole thing is everything goes away if you don't, if you don't feed it. Right. You know what I mean? Agreed. And but she, she had to do something. <laughs> I, 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 talk to, I talk to Mark Ergos about this shit yeah, all the time. Right? He's like, just, it'll just, just go, go away. away. It You're just right, goes right. away. Because the problem is, is the something she did, A, it reminds everyone what happened. And then B, she had this big meltdown and right. that became the thing. It, it is. And but here's the thing. Looking at like as a woman in this industry, you know, she has a reputation because she had to really 
work for herself and carve out her own career. And, and you know, a lot of people think, you know, you're a bitch if you ask for what you want, et cetera. But she's also, you know, she's a comedian. She's allowed to do this stuff. She told a joke, obviously, that did not go well, whether you agree with it or not. And she got death threats. Well, do you remember the death story? Threats. Remember the storyline, the angle that uh, Baron saw it and he was convinced that his dad had been beheaded? Yes, yes. of course. Those <laughs> are going to come out. Every Yes, he was that traumatized. Was always, <laughs> that was always nonsense. That's Jen, such nonsense. But it's Jen's like... Jen's a way of saying he's special needs. I mean, yeah, a little bit. Yes. <laughs> um, look, I mean, I've told so many jokes that have bombed on stage. Could you imagine if I got a death threat every time? Oh. Could you imagine if you got off stage, Andy Adam? Dick be reading the news oh, right at, now. Seriously? <laughs> <laughs> you imagine if you got off stage after one of your shows and someone was like, I did not like that. that yeah, joke. I mean, I, I'm kill you. look, I, I feel sorry for Kathy, but... She has. There's a lot of things going on there with is. Kathy, and I, that's yeah. kind of the unfortunate part. There definitely is, but she is on the up and up for sure. She's touring she's again. She's hilarious. She is hilarious. I've known her since the Groundlings. Yeah, yeah like, she. I, yeah, she is hilarious. I think she's so talented. I did post one picture with her. She did the game show that I was on. One picture I put on my social media. Do you know how many like? hate messages I got, which was kind of awesome for me. I was really? like, this like is so great. Oh, yeah, they were like, look at these two red-headed whores. I'm like, yeah. I was drunk. Uh, <laughs> yeah. we're try- I'm trying to get her on the show. I'm oh, being my, happy yes. to have her on my the God, show. My God, definitely get her on the show. Um, all right, let's move on to something even better. What was, Os- the, ga- what was the game show? Uh, it's called Funny You Should Ask. Okay, moving on. Oscar Mayer, guys, the people behind the baloney that we all love, Mm-hmm. has come out with a new facial sheet mask. That's right. I saw this. Yeah, oh. and it sold out. I mean, it's like, so it's just flying off the shelves. Um, now look, I've obviously, I'm not a stranger to weird things on my face. We've talked about that before. Sure. And I love injecting a lot of poison into my face. But I'm going to draw the line with baloney. There it is. It's disgusting. It looks like something out of oh, Sons it's like of the a Lambs. Nighttime. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's like put the lotion on the, you know what I mean? Like it's really creepy. So- so what? how does this work? Okay, well, apparently it's like uber hydrating. It's really good for your skin, which is actually the opposite of processed deli meat, which is just loaded with sodium. But this facial mask is like really plumps up your skin. So basically, I think your skin is going to look like bologna. I think that's is, that. What is the mask consist of? Uh, and by well, the way, if I bologna is such a relic of my super shitty uh, poor childhood, no, I would Nobody, never. Why would you ever? Why would you ever <laughs> buy that for anyone? That's not. I want to yell at every parent ever, which is a bologna. Here, here are the rules: If this human being, this this nine year old, right. would never eat this as an adult, you can't feed it to him. Right. You can't no, fucking right. foist it on them because no. I'm eating all this shit because I don't have a choice. Right. Uh, no one has made it. No one's went into Arts Deli and go, give me the supersized bologna sandwich with a yep. pimento loaf no. chaser. Like, if it's shit, you would never touch. If if, right. if, if you made more than 10 bucks a year <laughs> or you would never eat this as an adult, then you can't make that sandwich for your nine-year-old. You can't do that for your child. Like, it's like hydrogel. So they teamed up with Korean, you know, facial company, which, by the way, I love a lot of Korean facial stuff. It's great. But I have to be honest. Honest, Oscar Mayer, stay in your fucking lane. And it's a good stay. category of porn as it well. Is, the look Korean at that. facial. That, it is. <laughs> <laughs> well, the bologna facial. Oh, I mean, that's good too. Uh, look at her though. She's. Yeah. It's. She's good looking. She doesn't, but yeah, but she doesn't even look like she enjoys this face. Oh my, like, like that's a terrible ad. She's like, get this deli meat off my face. Why is Oscar? My, is it? Oscar Mayer Company is producing this. It's the Heinz. It's the Heinz Company. Oh, okay. Yes, yeah, so it's the what is Mayer. it? It's the Kraft Heinz. It's like Oscar Mayer has a first name. It's G R O S S. It's so <clears throat> gross. Like I can't even. It's beauty inspired by Baloney. You guys remember the Oscar Mayer theme song? Yeah, mm-hmm. my my Baloney has yeah, a first, first name. name. That's what it is. So oh, my so Baloney yeah, has a first right. name. It's yeah, gross. But you like, remember the Armor Hot Dogs. Oh, song? yes. Hot I don't dogs. remember the song. What's the song? Hot dogs. Who, uh, what armor kind dogs. of kids eat armor? Hot dogs. Oh, fat kids. <laughs> <laughs> kids. Skinny, Skinny kids. kids. Kids that climb on rocks. Did they Tough, say fat kids? Short kids. Yeah. You could Even never say that Even kids with chicken box of hot dogs. You could never they say They talk about a disease as well. <laughs> yeah, chicken box. You could never say fat. <clears throat> mm-hmm. Oh yeah, my God. you can find the. Uh, oh boy, here's where the mess okay, comes. Okay, no, here's I need to me- know. Here's I, where the are mess. You, do you have a knife right, in your coffee? Andy, so help me God, don't spill coffee okay. all over my. Andy, Andy talks so with his hands God. while he holds a coffee mug. Andy, and it's I'm already ta- on. Let me see the news. I'm telling you right now, <laughs> Oscar really nice. Mayer just came out with a bologna inspired. That's not true. It's true. It's true, and it sold out. I mean, like they sold out of them. Mm-hmm. 
What do you think? Would you put that on your face? I have put a lot of meat on my face. (laughs) (laughs) I don't know if I would pay for it. (laughs) (laughs) That's what he calls the sack. (laughs) Yeah, put D's on. Put the code with Andy for a blowjob, so I want a two-piecer. McNuggets. (laughs) Andy Dick's D's. Oh, my God. (laughs) D's nuts. But But that, Yeah. Is that really it? real? It's for real. It's for real. You know, that shows what that says to me is how much that meat is just not even meat. Mm. It's mm. disgusting. Yeah. A lot of filler. Well, it mm. does promote elasticity, and that's exactly what you think of. When so you think obviously, of you d- Oh, what? Say that again? <laughs> That's what I think about when I think about bologna. Now we need the armor hot dogs. Oh, really? Yeah, commercial. So they eat a whole package, and then the last slice they put on their face. Slap it right, right. on. Uh, the All stories right. run okay. out of legs. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's. Uh, so Alec Baldwin having a really horrible, horrible year. Uh, he's now just been sued for twenty five million dollars. What's his? You know? Do you know about this? Have you heard? Alec Baldwin is twenty five million. No, yeah, so he's, li- being, he's being sued by no. the family. Fuck, don't you have a podcast? I've been in, I've been in, well, I've been inside the studio and for seven well, we hours. I'm doing. It, you'll it remember. Yes, but I'm doing, so never she, mind. So okay, so there's a lawsuit stem from there was a fallen soldier, U.S. Marine. He died, and he gave the soldier's sister five thousand dollars for the family. Oh, I'm Alec did. Alec I did. Don't. All right. Okay. okay. And so then far, so she good. posted a picture on her social media. <laughs> Of her at the White House during the riots, and she was she was cleared mm. by the FBI. By the way, she was not involved in the riots, but she was protesting, and those mm-hmm. are her beliefs. And mm. then Alec came back, and you know brought and and he came back I on don't social know media. This one. You didn't you didn't you know uh, no, this one? I thought it was yeah. the other one about the movie. No, he, he actually saying. wrote, and this is what he wrote. <laughs> no, no where somebody <laughs> died. <laughs> the movie oh, one. The movie I'd one. Yes, yeah. the movie yeah. one. Yes. So this is so when really having a bad year. So when he, yes, so so then he went back onto social media and he actually wrote, quote, when I sent you money for your late brother out of respect for his service to this country, I didn't know you were a January 6th rioter. Mm. What does that mean? (laughs) What does that mean? (laughs) Andy, you have a podcast. Come on. (laughs) Oh, wait a minute. Who has a podcast? You. Oh, let's get into it. Yeah. You know, what does that mean? January. So she was at the white. She was at the a big the rally a that big... turned into a riot. Oh, you're in the when they oh, yes. a rioter, a rioter. Right. Right. Yes, rioter. rioter. So yes, mm-hmm. she was I there. Yeah. So mm-hmm. now her and her her sisters are suing him for twenty five million. For why? Because... You know what? He should never have responded. Because yes, because he's posting. I never do. He's posting, and you know now they're getting, of course. Hate. Oh, oh dogs I them. see. Do you respond to people, Adam? Because I'm <clears throat> sure you get mail and emails and shit like I do. Do you respond to them? I, sometimes and sometimes not. I don't Mostly really, not. I don't really have it's an. A, I don't have a policy. I don't. most of them are family members. I don't respond to, but the, <laughs> but, the general public guys I will interact with. You know, she's responding <sighs> saying, "I'm allowed to my opinions. I'm allowed to my beliefs." And so is he. So, yeah. I mean, you can't have it both ways. If she's going to, you know, this is what she believes and this is what she does. And this is what he wants to post. It's, I'm just, you know. Yeah. She's not going to He's gonna got win. enough to think get about. Together. Yeah. yeah, seriously. And tell him about the other thing where the guy died in the movie that he was producing. Well, this the is news to me now. The, the, <laughs> the tragedy on a set? Tell me Yes. More. It what? was a fake gun, but they, it was actually a real gun. Whoops. What, then what happened? It was called a whoopsie daisy. Was Alec, you, uh, was Alec even on set? No. Nope. Are you really not? You're familiar with this. No. <laughs> Come no. on, stop. No. <laughs> He's messing. I'm trying to get the nuts you know and the bolts for me. Have a gun. Um, we got the armor hot dog right song. Now. Let's I, see if it has fat gas Tell us more, it. Jody. Okay, here's <laughs> more. And this happened. This was yesterday, which is actually two days ago. Um, oh, it's just the, all right, this is the commercial. <laughs> the armor right. hot dog Oh, my God, it's his. Oh, my God. Let's see. Is this a new one? With the face mask? Oh my god, it's scary. It is frightening. Oh, it's wrong the seven. Wrong song. Uh, Chris, you got the baseball version of it. Yeah, we want the it. fat. It's weird when you're old, one. you have to explain everything yeah, we to everybody. We want the fat skinny one. Wait, wait, That's the baseball wait, 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 version. Wait, wait, wait. They have a commercial <laughs> where they. Here it is. Are. I was just this is the one. Oh, God. So, well, that it's not baseball themed. Looks like the end of Schindler's I'm, List when they're all walking. <laughs> I know. I've never seen any of these in my life. I know, but we're saying fat kids, skinny kids. You know, that's that's kids marching. 
hot dogs. Armor, armor hot dogs. Oh, I remember this. What kind of kids eat armor hot dogs? This guy was claimed by yeah. AIDS. Fat 87. kids. Skinny kids. They literally did say fat kids. You're right. And they showed him one. Yeah. Even kids with chicken pox love hot dogs. Armor hot dogs. Oh, God. Very inclusive. Yeah. Dongs you love to bite and put on your face. Is there anyone that's like, you have chicken pox, there's no way you could like hot dogs? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that's been floated. They don't, they don't eat. But also, they just show a close-up of a fat, fat girl. Kid, to a girl, no less. Yeah, and that's... then they showed one that looked Is... like Willy Wonka's. That would not fly anymore. No, it not at all. Uh, mm. On a happier note, and this is I'm I that love, was love happy. This that last one was oh, happy. Fat to kids me. Are, mm-hmm. Yes, oh my god, chicken pox. Uh, two days ago, because this is going to air tomorrow, Anything was you say Dolly makes Parton's me happy. birthday. What I know isn't I she the best? She's the best. I am obsessed with her. So, oh boy, I missed your window. So bad. What? <laughs> uh, what? <laughs> Everything. About what did her. she do? What did you work with her? Have you worked with her before? Nope. Never met her. Never love met her. Her. 76, Don't you? 76 years old. She looks amazing. She's amazing. She's three Guinness World Records. She is just... For what? Boobs? Uh, it's got to be the boobs. <laughs> no, it's for being leading the charts and the number one singles mm-hmm. and being a female. She's just amazing. Yeah. I think she just touches so many generations. Yeah. She writes her and own for, music. If there's any... She does. And oh. I mean, she literally started well, writing when really she was like smart. three Everyone loves Dolly Parton. Everybody does. And if you don't know who Dolly Parton no. is, she's Not Miley Cyrus' yes. godmother. Who? What? Really? <laughs> who? Oh, really? Yes. Who that. doesn't love her, Andy? People. People that don't know her. Fat kids, skinny kids. <laughs> kids with chicken pox do a lot. not like her. Yeah, well. Small I've... kids. Chicken I'm pox. excluding the group of people who don't know who she is. Yes, when I, I think I they're ridiculous. Of course. I, I mean, everyone who knows her. Yeah. Everyone but knows you her. you didn't love her more... And now that we told you, she writes her own shit. She produces shit like nine to five. Did you ever see it? Oh, I work in nine to five. five. What a way to make a living. She wrote that fucking song. I mean, she writes all mm-hmm. of her songs. I yeah. mean, and she's in that movie. Remember? <laughs> Do you remember? I you know. Always... You guys go back to sleep. Tell me, I when, like you, tell same... me when we're starting the podcast. <clears throat> <laughs> I, I say to people frequently, they go, did you know? Did you know? And I always go, do you know it? Uh, and they go, yep. And I go, then I know it. because well, No self-esteem, though. <laughs> yeah, no self-esteem. But <laughs> yes, I remember that was a movie that she yeah. started <laughs> from the 80s. Yeah. Well, you know, you're so manly. <laughs> I, 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 love, I, love girl, so. I love girl bands. <laughs> like which ones? Spice Girls? Well, well the aforementioned uh, Tony Basil. Yes. Okay. Josie Cotton. The Bangles, a Go Go's. I, I, I love all those. Linda Carlisle. I love all those bands. The I'm, 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 I'm all in it. Lisa Loeb. You know, I'm a, yes. I'm a I was just girl. talking with her. I love female Last musicians. Week. You were? Yep. Well, she's a friend of mine. She's great. She is. She's great. Mm-hmm. Mm. When? Uh, when was that? When, when what? Did what I? What do you guys? What do you guys do pop together? Pop it in there. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what. what Who's making popcorn? No, uh, last week I was talking with her. Oh, really? Is she out here? Yes. <laughs> what was that? I don't know. We don't we know. We were FaceTiming. Uh, yeah, it's a phone. Literally FaceTiming. Yeah, that, she so she could be anywhere. On her little, what is that? What, there's two heads, mine and hers. Like a Zoom thing? No, like <laughs> Instagram Live or something. Oh, like. Instagram Live. Hydra. <laughs> there's like three heads. I love her. Yeah, she's, she's, great. she's great. I thought you must have seen what we did last week. No, I didn't. I'm just, uh, I'm just a fan. You say, you oh. have a day when I want to. to. Oh, no, don't the music. sing it. <laughs> Come on. That's that's the you're the worst producer yeah. ever. <laughs> he wants the music. You want to sing along with Elisa Love? I love her. She's I, great. Yeah. And she's, she wanted to date me years ago uh-huh. in my brain. Oh, okay. But I Not was dating reality, somebody. Okay. Well, oh. in reality, too. Oh, yeah. I've oh. known her for.
I'm singing. I sing to my cat. I sing Dolly songs to my cat. No Which joke. ones? Here, uh, here no, you come really. again because my cat's. You know that song. That you know that song. It's one of my favorite songs. One of my yes. favorite songs. And I sing yeah. it to my cat. Is it really? Adam? That's a great yeah. song. It's a great song. Here you come again. Uh, she wrote that one. Than then a body has a right to. to uh, shaking up my. Because of her boo. It's <laughs> a, yes. Shaking me up so that all I really know is here you come again. And here I go. Girl, girl, do you have a musical career? I had a musical background. So I started. Every, so I started musical comedy, theater. actually. Musical it was, theater. yes, musical theater. What shows? Of, what shows? I mean, I was always in the background. It was always the chorus in me New York. Too. And then I. What show? Booked, in, on in, Broadway? Yeah, no, no, not on, on Broadway. Off no. Broadway. Off. I mean, off, off. And then okay. one day I booked my first speaking role on a soap opera and I was hung over and I was like, I, I'm not going to be on musical theater. <laughs> they talk oh, really? about fixing but, deviated septums and changing your voice. They do. Was that something you were thinking about? I thought about, about it and then I was singing in the car and I was like, it pretty much sounds the same. Um, Wait, yeah. why? Wait, did you get that? I just got the deviated septum surgery. But you're, and did it fix? The, why? Oh, no, it my voice didn't, didn't change. Yeah, no, right. no, my voice it's, didn't change. We've covered this. Yeah, we've already Let's covered that. Okay, yeah. one more. Okay, you guys, ready? Did you guys, uh, did you guys see the House of Gucci? Did anyone? I did. What's it called? You did? Yes. What's House of Gucci. House of Gucci. With Lady Gaga. Should we see it, Brian? It's middling. I'd like to see it. Yeah, I've, there's a lot of people. Why ask? I don't know. Something I don't know. Well, about. you're going to want to see. Well, well, why give me the middle? Every time I see. <laughs> yeah, lady. I can't. How am I going to commit to middle? So here's the thing. They every cut time his, I see her, they I don't recognize her. Lady I'm like, who's that? Because she's. Well, the I'm person. asking. Hold on, one right. conversation. I'm saying, should I see it? And you go okay. fifty. You know, you what, let, me, let me say there are, there are enough have, good things in there amongst the bad that it's worth checking. Have you heard of the show? You have. Can we see a little bit of it? What show? This Lady Gaga one. House of Gucci. It's a movie. Oh, yeah. It's, uh, a, it's movie. a movie? It's a movie. <laughs> about the Gucci. <laughs> you hear about That's Baldwin shooting tried. that guy? <laughs> <laughs> that was also a movie. Yeah, it was. And by, All right. Baldwin didn't shoot. I, it. I heard it was an interesting kind of whatever movie. And also, if it's if, if, if we're teetering mm -hmm. around the middle, yeah. if it's based on a true story, that'll be enough okay. to get me in because in. I me can too. at least sit there and go, this actually happened and yes. it'll add an, a, a layer of intrigue. What's the true story? The wife, yeah, the, the wife murdered ha hired people, oh, hired hired people yes. to murder. In Florida. <clears throat> in Florida. In Italy. Oh, really <laughs> oh you're thinking Florence. of Versace. 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 Yeah. Yes. Isn't that weird? Versace yeah. and Gucci, they yeah. both got shot. Oh, Versace. Did you know either one of those guys? No, I'm not that gay, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Just saying, you to be really should have known one or the so other. <laughs> Feel like. uh, then I love how he said it. Did you know you the, the <laughs> Andrew Kanan? No, Kanan. I actually did know him. I don't feel you like did? I should have dove in with the correction on that. Okay. Andrew Kanan? I have a friend that's going to prison for killing people that I used to hook up with. Really? Oh, my God. Next. Uh, <laughs> well, the story here is that there was a scene that they shot that was cut, and mm -hmm. Lady Gaga was hinting to it during an interview where mm -hmm. her and Salma Hayek have sex. Right. Yeah. So but that was I, cut. Apparently, oh. that was mm. cut. She so she hints and says there's a side. Well, the, yeah, yeah, there's a side of the movie that you haven't seen, and apparently, that's her backside. Mm. Uh, <laughs> but I mean, I don't know. I feel like that could be its own movie. Don't you guys? Would have think? been a four hour movie. Definitely if they watched. Kept that You would scene. definitely, if that scene was back in there, would you yeah. go home right no, now and watch it? Up? You know, mm -hmm. this Adam is because he's so straight. <laughs> but I don't care. I don't like seeing girls on girls. The scissor. That's, do you like that, what, Jody? Mm. <laughs> Not that. I don't like that. What you just did. You don't have to lick your lips when you're doing it. I think she that's the part. Like, don't you like that? even get. I don't. With those I don't hands. pretend to speak for Jody, but okay. I think it was the licking of the lips that did it. It wasn't the pounding of the scissored fingers together. I think it was a combination. It was a well, yeah, hard yeah. Pound. no, yeah, for sure. But I think I think it was the slobbering so, on the no. lips that kind Selma of pushed you over. And the... Lady Gaga were the scissor sisters, basically. Next. All right, that's about that's it. That's it. it. That that's it all for, of and them. And that's it for Andrew the news. Jody and and then Max, I'm looking at you because we don't have it. Or thing maybe is, is I've run into or hung out with pretty much everybody. That's why I'm, I'm 56. I just turned to 56. You look great. Thanks. Still picking up dicks. Dicks. <laughs> plural. Plural. Yeah. Kunanen. <laughs> 
or whatever. You're What's his name, Andrew? Hosting the show. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Okay. Yeah. I don't. I'm this. This guy shot somebody 20 years ago. I'm, I'm asking what his was name is. I can't remember. Ago? I don't know if I'm talking about the same. Do you guy. have that feeling that time 20 years ago you said that it's just like zipping by? Yeah. How old are you now? Same age. Why do you look better? Don't I don't even answer well, that. Well, the fentanyl thing is part say, of it. I, I was I took fentanyl and looked younger. Watch it's not me. working. <laughs> All right, uh, Andy. Let's give a plug. Uh, AndyDick.com is where you can is where you can go. Oh yes. And speaking also, of that, you can see one of the things I'm working on. Tiger Dick. Did you see that yet? No, not Tiger yet. Tiger Dick. It's a. Par- it's not a parody. It's I. I'm doing a mockumentary of me making a thing on the Tiger King. Okay. All right. I call it Tiger Dick. Okay. You, you can watch. It. You can anymore. you can see right that there. Tiger Dick. You can see that at AndyDick.com. But, but it's a mock. Like I'm making it, but we cut backstage a lot until by the end of the movie, we're almost <laughs> all backstage, and I'm worse than him. And you can and uh, go to Getter. G-E-T-T-R for Jason Miller. And you can check out Jody. She's doing stand-up all over the place. You are? Yeah. Uh, This This Monday at the uh, Hollywood Improv is where you go. And uh, just check out her podcast, White Knuckling Parenthood. And website, JodyMillerComedy.com. All right. So, until next time, it's Adam Crow for Jody Miller and Andy Dick. I love you, Adam. I'm so happy to see you. Love you. Say it. Mahalo. Oh, oh yes, I don't remember the song. What's the song? Hot dog. Who? Uh, what oh, kind no. of kids eat armor? Hot dogs. Oh, no, Fat no. kids. <laughs> Fat kids. Skinny, Skinny kids. kids. Kids that climb on rocks. Did they say Tough. fat kids? Short kids. Yeah. You could Even never say that. Even kids chicken pox of hot dog. They talk about a disease as well. You have chicken pox and you can never say fat. Mm-hmm. <laughs>